Hello, everybody. Welcome in. Today, we are running some Lost Minds and the Mad Mage episode 38. So, I really hope you enjoy the game. Uh, let me do this real quick. So, by all means, uh, if you happen to tune in today and, you know, you haven't, uh, haven't dropped me a follow yet, I'd greatly appreciate it. You know, help me get to my goals. And uh, we are going to let the players tell you exactly what is going on. So I'm just going to switch over to them. And one second here. And bloop. Okay. So. Hello, Yeah, no, this is very intensive. Uh, did you get her issue fixed? No, she's good. She uses a different web browser, so it doesn't matter. Oh, all right then. Well, ladies and gentlemen. How's everybody doing today? I'm doing good. Dude. Yeah. Well, that's sad, John. Let, let's see if we can cheer you up with some D&D, shall we? It's all good. D&D always cheers me up. Hell yeah, it does. So, who wants to tell our uh, couple people right now what uh, where we're at, what's going on, and what's happening? Oakley dokley. Um <laughs> I don't know why. My notes have been real bad recently. They're just kind of funny. Spiders, and they suck. Um, so we fought some spiders. Uh Oh, uh, we met some drow, and by met, I mean they shot at us, and Zin is yelling at them. Don't know what they were saying, because it was not in a language I speak. The drow are from the house of... Oh, never mind. Um, we freed some goblins, and... <laughs> we were sleeping in the chimera den. Oh, we fought a chimera, but I think that was the game before. Yep. And then we were spotted. Nothing happened, which is super suspicious. And now... Um, we're trying to avoid a fight, so we're going up and around a different way. The long way, I believe. Um, and it's we're currently in a super narrow passage with lots of spider webs and egg sacks. Yeah, you are. Uh, disgusting. Oh, you have no idea. Uh, so this is going to be a fun session, I think. Um... I'm not gonna lie, it might be a large part combat, but uh, we will find out, won't we? So, <clears throat> take a look at my own notes here. I left, I whispered to myself in chat. Where'd they go? Oh, right, they're above Val's rolls for his spell, what he can summon. <clears throat> Yay. Uh, get to Corvada, yada, yada, yada. <laughs> okay. If I remember correctly, you guys are aware you're being watched. Something strange is going yeah. on above you, but you can't actually see anything. What would you like to do, Zen, as you are first in order? Um, well, since I'm first in order... And I don't know what's going on 100%. I'll make... Sh <clears throat> can I pull out my weapon? Because uh -huh. I'm probably spooked. Um, and then can I hold an action to shoot the first thing I see that either comes near me in any way, shape, or form? Sure you can. And that's probably about all I can do, so... Oh, actually, yeah. Uh, bonus action command Yukina, just to be ready to fight the first thing that she sees as well. Sure. Do you want to have her yeah. move up at all, or before uh, your turn ends? <clears throat> no, I think it's probably best to keep her where she is, so I'm good. Yeah. Oh, you know what? Actually, I just realized something. Yeah, no. Roll me a perception. Okay. 
So, you actually do see them. Sorry, I had them on the GM layer because uh, I, when I logged in today, I thought they were invisible. They're not invisible. Okay, cool. So, uh, cool. with your perception, you notice above you skittering. And skittering. the webs seem to be moving. And at first, it takes you a moment to notice them up there in the dark. However, you do begin to see them. Large blue and white spiders. Look at you. Mandibles chittering. Before they get ready to leap. So we're going to start your turn over because you did see them. Okay, fantastic. I, I'll i take that. Um, yeah, so I guess uh, free action, pull up my bow. Okay. Um, then I will... How far is the one directly above me? Uh, I was actually just looking to see how tall they are. I believe they are... I'm going to say they're 30 foot ceilings. Okay. Um, so yeah. where the webs would be would probably be about 20 feet. Uh, yeah, about 20 feet high from the floor. Okay. Fantastic. Okay, perfect. So, um, am I able to yell out to the parties? Um... There's spiders up in the ceilings. Yes, of course. Okay, awesome. Um, and then I'm going to use my action to... Actually, wait, I'm going to step back first to here, actually. And then I would like to uh, use my action to shoot the spider above. It Ren. is disadvantage due to height. Oh, I didn't. Oh, yeah, I guess that makes sense. What, that, that was the only one that's up top, right, though? Just this one? Nope, they are all up there. Okay, then I'm just... Uh, I'm going to take a shot at it. At disadvantage. Um, and... <laughs> uh, let's see. See how we do here. Yep. Ooh, okay. Um, and then I'll use my favorite foe <laughs> because I hit... Um, and then damage. Yes, that is a hit. Uh, you managed to get your, your arrow through the web underneath it. Um, and it punctures the underside of its abdomen. Nice. And again. Yes. Okay. Second shot in rapid succession, succession sinks right into the next one. Holy fuck. You want to describe that? Yes! Uh, yeah, so I see the spider um, kind of like 20 feet in the air above Ren, and I just like pop two quick shots, one into uh, underneath its uh, butt, effectively, and the other one right underneath where its head would be. Okay. <laughs> um, and then... Um... Bonus action, command Yukina to uh, to attack, and I'm going to have Yukina come up, if that's okay. Yeah, sure. Through the people. Just, uh, wait, how far is she? <clears throat> Fuck, I misread that. They should have been invisible after all. <laughs> well, Too late now. Sorry. Uh, she can get to there, and that is my turn. Okay. One of them pops out of existence. Okay. Ren. Okie dokie. So they're on. I can't reach any of them with my hands. <laughs> Yeah, that's problematic. So, I do have a normal javelin, though. So I'll just throw at this guy up here, I think. I'm just going to throw a javelin. 
Not this one here? Are you pinging it? I can't see. Oh, fuck. I'm on the wrong layer. <laughs> yeah, that one. All right. Uh, disadvantage for height. Let's just roll me another d20 or make another attack. That is a hit. Great. Okay. And uh, then I, I have another one. Yeah. That's a hit. There. Solid. Okay. Yeah. I, I can only see the two of them, right? Yes. Okay. I'm. Uh, yeah. Okay. That's all then. This one up here is like it, it's dead, but it's like hanging in the web. Oh, I'm gonna just. Oh my goodness. I'm out of the map. I don't know what happened. Stop! Stop! Stop moving! Stop moving! <laughs> What's happening is it's a fucking Saturday. Okay, yeah, I'm, ju I'm literally just moving, just like, just out of, from below him. All right. This one pops out of existence as well. Um, the owl. So, to clarify, is, are there any in sight right now? Because I, I think roll 20 is like way behind. Uh, let me see. I think there's one in sight. Okay. So the owl hasn't gotten see order. Them attacked. Most are fine familiar. I'm pretty sure you can just give it an order. Uh, no action required, if I remember correctly. Yeah. Verbal command. Yeah, it's, uh... Yeah. Uh, communicate telepathically so you don't have to, like, give it orders on your turn. You can give it orders on its turn without any, without using any action. Awesome. Totally anticlimactically, I'm going to tell it to stay on my shoulder because there's not a lot of things you can do here. Give me one second. I just want to check something. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so you should be able to see this one up in the north. Gotcha, awesome. Alright, well, it is your turn, sir, if you have no orders to give. Uh, eh, I'll just go for Firebolt. Nothing creative. Okay. Disadvantage. Yep. It screeches as uh, flames hit it, um, singeing one of its eyeballs. And that's me. Woohoo. Cool. Hey, guess what this one's going to do? It's going to attack me for shooting it. No, it's also going to disappear. Oh, never mind it. I like that better. Yeah, I don't think you will. For now. <laughs> Ray. Right. She's having technical difficulties right now. <laughs> she's trying to talk, but she's it's not you have to maybe adjust your mic settings bit.
For some reason, I, I had to fix all my stuff as well today. They might have done an update. Sometimes it fucks with everything when it does an update. My push to talk, like, toggle switchy thing, I had to re-record because it didn't exist anymore. Hello? Can you hear me now? Yup. Uh-huh. Okay, what the fuck? So my thing wasn't muted. Anyways, doesn't matter. Okay, um, I am... I'm just gonna stand here. I'm gonna ready my shillelagh in case anything comes near me. I will bonk them. But other than that, I'm just gonna chill. Because I don't know what's happening. Okay, so using your bonus action to cast your shillelagh and holding your action to actually bonk. Yep. Okay. Hmm. My turn, I assume? Is now. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna be sketched out by the fact that they just disappeared, because things don't just do that. Um, <clears throat> and I would like to cast Fairy Fire uh, using my innate ability once once a day, and it's a 20 foot radius, I believe. Okay, and what are you casting it on? Uh, it's I'm gonna put it where that 20 feet in the air area is with all the webs and stuff, I'm going to put it in there. Uh, ping me a marker for the center of it. Yeah, I'm trying to... It's a 20-foot cube, so I'm just trying to make make the cube basically is what okay. I'm trying to do. Oh, it centers on it. Oh, wow. Oh, it's a 20-foot cube? Yeah, so... Yeah, so, so 10 fo feet, 10-foot radius. Yeah. Um, let's put it like... I'm going to say, like, there and hope for the best. Well, Hopefully, you you use your happens. innate drow magic to cast fairy fire. And as the, um, excuse me, the purple fires spread out, you notice that the, uh, uh, the non-damaging flames cover the webs above you. However, nothing else is highlighted. Well, shit. Uh, that's gonna be my turn, then. Okay. Um, I just realized, what happened to my javelins? Do they, like, hit and then fall? Or are they in it, and they're also invisible? Uh, they, they'd be on the ground. On. Yeah. Okay. Just <clears throat> wanted to double check what happened. <laughs> In fact, you would have noticed that when, uh, when the creature disappeared. Hey, Elio. Uh, when the creature disappeared, the javelins immediately fell. Oh. Okay, um... I guess I'm just gonna go and pick them up. Yeah. I think that's it for my turn. All right, so. <clears throat> Let's see. Oh. Oh, it's not your turn yet. There's things in the turn order you can't see. Oh, okay, okay. I'll just go back. So, let's see, which one is this? Oh, that's lovely. Oh, 
All right. Well. Yeah. Valorant. Roll me a perception. You notice, uh, you, you suddenly hear some skittering on the, the wall next to you. And you turn just as this thing goes to take a bite. What's your AC? 17. It's a hit. Silvery barbs. It's a hit. Okay, never mind. Spell, spell Roll, slot burn. Rolled two 18s. Sorry, bro. <laughs> it's all good, bro. It's all good. Five piercing, and I need a... Okay, uh, again, it doesn't say what fucking DC it should be, but uh, let's go with a 13. Give me con save. What, what? 20 poison damage, and you have the poisoned condition for one hour. Got it. Everything disadvantage. Uh, however, <clears throat> pretty and sure part... that means you need to make another con save, yeah? I do. And what was the first damage? Not the poison, but the first one. Piercing. How much was it? Five. Cool. And yes, I do. Full send, my guy. Oh! <laughs> so that means... Inspiration. Oh, okay. All right, all right. Inspiration point, not 20. Let's go. So you, you start to... We see you, we see you. you your, your bones kind of start to bend and, and and break and muscle starts to tear but then you kind of like compose yourself and like and fight it off and you remain your normal self normal being relative relative hey Ren now it's your turn okay I'm, I'm sorry what now that something... I don't know <laughs> I can't <laughs> Oh, some wild voice activity there. <laughs> That's just what I sound like on a day-to-day. Okay, -day. I'm coming down this way. Okay, uh, I'm so sorry. My brain was uh, a little bit gonzo. Um, Aren't we all? I can hit this thing. Can, can I, throw, I see it and I can throw a javelin. This one over top of Val? Yeah. Yeah, do you have more Val, uh, more javelins? I have 10 of them. Oh, fucking okay. Full send. Reach in your bag of holding. Okay. Uh, hold, holding. Reach into your bag of holding and yank out another javelin. Pull back oh. and huck it. It is a straight roll. It is not, uh, okay. not too high up now. I'm going to assume that hits. Sure does. And then um, I'll do that again. Full send. That uh, is uh, 11 hit. the first one. Um, you, you get it in the thorax. Um, but unfortunately, your second one, um, in an attempt to miss Val, but hit the creature, you unfortunately miss both. Alrighty, that's it. Okay. Oh. Hey, Zin, I'm assuming when the one popped up and attacked Valorant, you know, he probably made some noise. Did you turn around? Um. I guess so. Cool. So roll me a perception. Oh, not advantage, of course. Ouch. Come on. Yeah, you don't notice. That's unfortunate. That's a, I have a plus seven. God damn. Which means he has advantage. I'm assuming a 23 hits, yeah? 
Um, no, because I'm using uh, shield. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. <clears throat> Owl's turn. I'm going to tell Owl to go back here and hide before he gets his ass kicked too. Okay. And as he goes to move... That's true. Opportunity attack. Oof. Bye, Owl. Yeah, I, I know his AC is not a 22. <laughs> no. That would be really cool, but it's not. Doesn't Owl have flyby? Oh, he does, doesn't he? Wow. Look at Sam. Thank you, Zim. Good call. I fucking hate that ability. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice as the player, though. <laughs> right? All right. Uh, Yeah. So, does he have more movement? Oh, I'll get him out of sight from the squishy things or crunchy things or whatever you call them. And have him hide. All right. For sure. And now it's your turn. So Misty Step uh, over here. And can I see which of the spiders is injured? Mm, out of the three that are left, they've all been injured except for this one. However, if you want to know which one's more injured, you can give me a... I'm going to say a medicine. A disadvantage because I'm poisoned, right? Uh, I believe that's how that works. I think so. Alright, poison. Uh, attack rolls and ability checks. Not saving throws, though. Hmm, interesting. Interesting, okay. Uh, with a 16? Yeah, this one's right fucked up. I can't see your pinging. Oh. Fucking hell. Oh, sorry. Uh, you don't know that one's there yet. Never mind. I'm glad I banged <laughs> on the wrong one. He's still nice. invisible. I'm so fucked. Uh, yeah, this one is injured. The other one is pristine. Got it. Then I will. Let me measure real fast. So, he is going to be under half cover from your uh, current angle. I believe you still have movement left. I do. I just won't move as far. I'll move right there and I'll cast Toll the Dead on him. Okay. Uh, I believe that's wisdom, yeah? Yeah. Get back to my character sheet. Sorry. If you double click on the top bar, you can just minimize it on your page instead of closing it. It helps. I did that, but my dumbass actually closed it. <laughs> yeah, I do it too, man. I do it too. Uh, yeah, that's a fail. So, he is damaged, so 2d12. 12. 12, okay. And that is all the actions I have. So, I am going to... That's it. Yeah, some of its eyes start to bleed as it uh, lets out a shrill... Um, Screech. Um, by the way, Ray. Uh, yeah? You were holding an action, were you not? Uh, yeah, my shillelagh. Yeah. Bonk up! <laughs> well, fucking send it, Rafiki. Goddamn. Oops, sorry, ignore that. I didn't mean to do that. Oh, wow. Just barely a hit. Give me a damage. Okay.
Oh, I fucked up somewhere. Okay. That one should not be as damaged as he is, I don't think. Twelve. Six. Nobody else has hit that one, right? Just the fireball. Firebolt. One of them I hit a few times. Yeah, oh, she yeah, hit there it one is. with two okay. javelins. Yep. All right. <clears throat> Beautiful. Yes, uh, you do manage to bonk it. In fact, you break one of its mandibles. Fuck that spider. Gross. Hey, Zen, give me another perception. Sure. Is it uh, Ray's turn now? It is not. Not yet? Okay. Huh. Did that help? Um, it might have. I hope so. Oh, Zen, you're surrounded. Yeah. <laughs> We are burning this place to the ground when we leave. Works for me. Spiders. <laughs> it's like the Joker explosion background walk away scene. That is what we're doing. Uh, it goes to bite and you manage to sidestep it. Uh, it misses. Ray, it is your turn. Um, this spider here, can I um, shillelagh him in the face? Yeah, full send. Eighteen. That is a hit. Uh wow. You wanna describe how you dropped this one? Yeah, like I'm just I feel them on my skin, they're everywhere, and I kinda just am flailing my staff around and kinda just didn't notice that I did it, sort of, because I'm just paranoid that they're like on me. <laughs> uh, who, who's that dude who accidentally hurts things all the time like <laughs> that's good all right yeah you, you just swing your staff around and around and all of a sudden you uh you slam this one um thinking you feel some something behind you you spin and just swing and you manage to cave in the skull right at the uh, eye section where the skull is the weakest and it drops to the ground However, unfortunately, it has now blocked your path to get to the others. This thing, uh, as its legs curl up, uh, it, it fills this entire area. So for you to get to them, you're going to have to crawl on top of it. If you wish, you and, know, now or later. And then would it just be like rough terrain? Yes. Okay, so noticing that this has happened, um, Ray is like, fuck. So she takes like a deep breath and closes her eyes like a little bit and walks forward and I'm going to walk on top of it. Okay. And foot a square. Okay, I will just like stand up here but i'm like looking more up towards the ceiling and like less below me so that like maybe if i don't see it it, it doesn't exist situation oh yeah for sure so uh as you like crawl on top of it uh you kind of have to push the legs out of the way as you you get um closer to zen and you can see the two big ones um are on either side of him both biting at him He's either dodging or his shield has protected him as, as it looks like they're going to hit and they just kind of bounce off. Okay, so like trying not to throw up, um, I will use my bonus action to healing word on Val. Oh, thank you. Okay. Eight healing Val. I'll take it and say thank you. 
You're welcome. I'm trying not to throw up. Okay. Before you goes in, give me a moment. Yada, yada, yada. That happens. Cool. Give me a second. Just gotta... Got to rearrange where they are. You're fine. I assumed it was meant a lot of a lot of bad stuff for us. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Zen, it's your turn. Yay. Okay, um, bonus action, or free action, drop my bow. Uh, bonus action, because these are, sorry, before I do that, these things are right beside me, like they're, like they're in melee range, not range range, correct? They are in melee range, yes. Okay, yeah, so I free action, drop my bow, bonus action, pull out one of my scimitars, and, uh, which... I think this is the only one that I've seen take damage. Well, I can't ping. This one's the only one I've seen take damage so far, correct? Uh, no, other side. <clears throat> oh, this one. Yeah. Okay, the, whatever one I believe wor looks hurt the most is the one I'm going to swing at. So. Swing. Uh, just making sure all my stuff is turned off correctly. Yeah, you you take a swing, um, and this one just kind of like slaps it away with the leg. Just kind of like you go to swing in, and it brings its leg directly down on the 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 top of it, like where the side is, and bounces it off the rock instead. Okay, and this again. That one's a hit. Uh, Drake reaction on this one. Okay. Your your sword gets covered in frost as it bites in you want to describe it yes so the first time zin swings and he just barely misses a vanable but on the back swing as he brings it back uh he, he kind of cuts off the, the body to the head yeah um it's right in the weak point i need you to make a deck save <clears throat> Mm, that's unfortunate um this thing was it was up on the wall um but still within range but as you take its head off it falls off the wall wa wall and rolls at you uh, unfortunately you did not get out of the way in time you don't take any damage but you are uh pinned underneath it will take an action to get out okay um, and then Yukina will just kind of run over to the only one that's left that it can see if it can reach it. If it can't reach it, it'll stay where it is. I mean, yeah, she she should be able to reach it. I mean, they're they're not up real yeah. high. Yeah, so I can go like there with her, basically. Yeah. Okay. And then yeah, she'll take a take a bite. That is a hit. She 
takes a chunk out of one of its legs, and uh, the basically hydraulic fluid that um, spiders have in their legs um, begins to leak out. And this one leg starts to kind of curl up underneath itself. Gross. But that's me. Ren. Yep. Okay. I th think I am close enough now that I can use my axe. You so, sure are. I'll take that bad boy out and get a swing in. Hiya! Send it. I'm gonna uh, attack recklessly. Okay. Get him. Wolf gang, wolf gang. Yeah, that is definitely Ooh, a cool. hit. You uh you you flat chop uh two of its legs off with one swing. Sick. It screeches and turns towards you. Another one. Ah. Frickety frack, those were bad rolls. Unfortunately, you go to... Man, you've rolled 11 a couple times, I think, today. <laughs> I know! It's been a bit brutal. <laughs> you, uh, you you take another swing, and... Um, uh, unthinkingly, you aim at the same legs you just chopped off, and you catch air. That's it. That's it for me. good first hit though <laughs> yeah first one is great then ah. okay this one uh let's see she's uh this one's gonna take a shot at you Ren. having taken off two of its legs uh they lay on the floor and it's just spewing um basically spider blood which is barely really blood. Yeah. It, it looks, looks more like you. an ooze. Tracy. Um. 16. Con save, please. Fuck you, Val. <laughs> it, it, it looks like it's about to hit, but all of a sudden it just kind of like shifts and, and goes the wrong way, and it, it bites air as you kind of shift your leg. Bell. You're very welcome. It's all right. I got something for your ass. Don't worry about it. Five, ten. 15, you always say 20, that. Twenty-five, thirty. Uh, you're supposed to be rooting for us. Just saying. Ah <laughs> uh, man, I'm just saying. Y'all didn't check corners. Shit's gonna go down. And fifteen, twenty. Always 25. does. So the owl does nothing because he's pretty much useless. Val is going to cast Toll the Dead on the final spider. Sure. Toll the Dead. Wisdom. Wow, that is literally the amount. You want to describe what happens as this toll the dead spell goes off? As I cast the spell, the spider's eyes sink back into his skull. Its teeth also regress back into its mouth. And it staggers forward and falls flat to the ground. And that it does, sir. However, we are not out of combat. You guys are unaware of it, though. But uh, just give me a minute. I gotta line some shit up as they take their turns.
Do you have anything left, Valorant? As <laughs> as you believe that the uh, the the combat is over, um, you've used your action. But is there anything else you'd like to do while I make a coffee? Headphones are still on, so I can hear. Uh, that is all well, the action I have. Yeah, actually, I'll, I'll start back over here in anticipation of harvesting these things because that's what we usually do. And I don't know, the combat's not over yet. Right. And I'm not sure if I'm done moving because my whole screen just went haywire. Oh, that's fun. Let me try a five. I'm good. That's me. Okay. Ray. You stand atop the spider. What do you wish to do? Um, can I try and pull Zen out from under this nasty thing? Sure. Uh, uh, athletics, please. Oh my god, I'm so good. Beautiful. Yeah, you uh you can't the even. The spider find is it. so slimy. I'm like slipping on its body while trying not to touch it, but also helps in. It's hard out here, okay? Why does everybody think spiders are slippery? They're not slippery. Either are snakes uh, when they're or oozing everywhere. Yeah, when they're oozing all gross. over the place. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I, I think that's just a uh, scaredy cat mentality. Everything you're afraid of is it, it's slimy. Tell me I'm wrong. Uh, blood is gross. Blood is wet and slimy and sticky. We so know it's fine. Spiders actually don't have a whole lot of actual blood in their bodies, even large ones. Well, not anymore. <laughs> it's just. <laughs> uh, give me one sec. I forgot to grab cream out of the fridge. Okay, well, I'm just going to do the rest of my turn, everyone. Um, Val, that's for you, okay? You are the best. Thank you, thank you. You're welcome. All right. So, yeah, you, uh... You, you go to Paul. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, you go to Paul... Zin out. Unfortunately, you are unable to even, like, lift the body enough. Like, you can, you can kind of see some of his hair hanging out. Um, but you can't actually find him. Uh, but you do give it your best. And then you give up and, uh, you give Valoran a healing word. Okay, you guys know Sindri from God of War? I'm like him right now with germs. Except spiders. I'll be honest, I haven't played the Love game it. God of Wars. Oh, it's... Whoa, it's... you don't even come and hang out? Sindri, oh, Sindri is a germaphobe. I'm it. Sindri's like a germaphobe. He's always like, ew, 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 ew. Oh my god, I'm gonna throw up. I can't hang out in your streams anymore, Snow. Your streams are the same day as mine. You can blame Z for that. Um, I also wow. play God of War. Yeah, your, <laughs> yours are usually on the same days as well. The trick is savage streams all the time. I mean, I, I stream yeah. five days, but... Yeah, yeah. I mean, it sounds like excuses, but, you know, that's <laughs> fine. You'd think with such a powerful computer, you could actually have two windows open. Bro, I mean, you, you don't even want to talk about my powerful computer at the moment. I've, I've been having fucking issues, and I'm not happy about it. Sounds Nazi like a about user that. error. Yeah, but we've been getting... Whoa, through, oh, it's helping. Snow! Oh, you don't like your character, do you? <laughs> fucking user error, she says. 
<laughs> oh, man. Rage, you got anything else you want to do with your character before you die? <laughs> oh, she quiet now. <laughs> I'm just playing Snow. I'm not going to kill you. No, she's fine. Yet. She's done. She She's trying to make a coffee as well. Okay. You got her hooked on the idea. Sorry, yeah, my coffee's instant, so I have to boil a kettle like a peasant. Um, no, so I did the try to help Zen, and then I healing word, word Val. Yep. And then I think, um, I think I'm good. All right, Zen. The action try, to try to, uh, and get out. Give me, uh. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm going to try to wriggle my way out of there. Yeah, that's an athletics. Did you have to push yeah. it up enough to, like, squeeze yourself <laughs> out? Oh, God. Okay. Athletics it is. Oh, my God. Yeah, you managed to, to squeeze your way out, um, and then you stand up. There's not much room in between these three spiders and Ray and the wall. But yeah. you managed to get out, and you use half your movement to stand up. Okay, and then I guess I'll use my other half movement to move to here. Because uh, that's ten feet, right? Yep. Yeah, I can't move any farther because I only have five feet left. Um, And then... I guess bonus action command you can uh, to uh, kind of attack the first thing that moves and to come over this direction a little bit. So okay. 10 feet, 20 feet, 30 feet, 40 feet. That's it. Sorry, give me one second. There should be something going off in my chat and it's not fucking working. That's I fine. I just need half a second. They're, they got these new fucking... Uh, new additions to the timers so that like if you're running a certain fucking thing that's the only time that timer will come up and it's not fucking working and it's really pissing me off gotcha sorry having technical difficulties i'm getting like a blink every five every like second or so you're getting a what like the, the whole screen will blink oh. oh uh so and that's every five seconds no, like in every second, but it's only like in Explorer. It's not, or in uh, Edge, Home, or whatever the hell it is. Are you? Are you? You're not using Microsoft Edge, are you? I'm using Chrome. Okay. Um. So, a couple things that could be: one, your video card; two, your monitor is drawing too much power from your outlet. Um, like my main one, I have to plug into a completely separate outlet, otherwise it it, it fucking blinks. Um. But is it just your your web browser that's doing it? Or does it do it when anything else is up? Oh, he's gone. Oh no, I hope his computer didn't just fry. Oh no. I think that answers that question. Oh no, he just came back in game. Hello? I think I'm back. That was weird. Yeah, mm -hmm. what, what, what the hell was that? Dude, the whole screen went black, so I tried to restart the computer, like, quick restart, and it restarted, and now everything's back to normal. I don't fucking know. Oh. Okay, well. It's nice. wild how much restarting your computer fixes. Isn't it? Like, nothing's changed. You just were off, and now you're on. And it's perfect. Check. <laughs> it's so weird. I got nothing, but okay, I can work with it. Sorry, I just need like 30 more seconds. That's okay, I can talk about how weird computers are for like a good while. I mean, <laughs> what's really happening is the code in the background just running and there is an input error. User error. <laughs> uh -huh. I'm just bugging, I'm just bugging. <laughs> This, it's all good. This, it's this user girl, error. man. This this fucking girl. The only reason I don't have user error is because I have Z to do it for me. <laughs> Sorry, Z's error. having to help me with my issues lately too. Well, okay, your stuff is different because it's all software related, not hardware related, really, right? Z also fix all of my issues. <laughs> I used to be so happy. I'm I'm so good at computers, and then lately I've had an issue. And I'm like. Zeke-was, <laughs> help me. Let me give you a Got them eyelashes. It gets worse as you get older. I used to know what the hell I'm doing. No clue now. 
that's a problem because I've never known what I'm doing. <laughs> so... Dude, that's life. Okay, so I, I'm, I'm back and I'm ready to go now. Um, so, uh, yeah, you and Yuka are done, so let's move these ones up. Ren. Okay, now I can see nothing, right? What do you mean you can see nothing? Oh, like no, no enemies. Like no nude. Yeah. Yeah. No, you, you, you good. You, you don't see nothing. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna pick up my javelins. The ones over here. All right. You pick and up then the I'll use my last little bit of movement to come back a little bit. All right. I'm going to command L to come back and perch on my shoulder and hang out because I think everything's wrong. As it does, give me a perception. Premier the owl. Owl. Give me one sec. All right. And he has uh, wisdom or advantage on those checks. So let's do it again. Oh, oh, oh. He, he has advantage on uh, perception? Yeah. Mm. To rely on hearing or sight. He's an owl, bruh. He relates to you that something is coming down the tunnel here. From uh, the southeast? Yeah, fr uh, from, the, uh, from the way you guys came in. Got it. I'll yell it out to the party. Enemies incoming. Southeast. And as it's my turn, I'm going to climb up on top of a spider here so I can get a clean shot. Uh, and I will stand by with a Toll the Dead's Bolt spell as Firebolt. Uh, would require a dex check, and I'm at disadvantage on those. And that is. My turn. Right? Okay, so Val told us that someone's coming this way? Indeed. Did, did, was he told, like, any details? Like, is it another spider? Well, the thing can just basically relay, um, emotions. It can't really talk to him. So, Val just kind of gets the feeling that there's something coming. Okay, I am going to use my, um, conjure animals. And we're going for a bear, like a big bear. Yeah, a big bear. I know a few of those. I married one. <laughs> I'm not touching any of this. <laughs> I, 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 I didn't know that Zeke was counted as a, a bear. <laughs> I didn't know that He's like a snuggly bear. <laughs> Okay, you summon a bear. There's my bear. There's your bear. Does it it rolls its own initiative, does it not? Or is it at the end of your turn? Uh it has its own. Alright, well, roll it in. Okay. in. Valorant tells you that something is coming. What do you wish to do? All right. Well, I can't see anything as of yet. So um, <clears throat> I'm going to go and start moving. So all this is rough terrain until I get through the spiders, right? Yes. 
Oh my god, ignore so that. I don't even. 10, 25, 30. Is that correct? Mm hmm. Okay, I'll move there and then I'll hold an action to uh, shoot the first thing I see come through. And then Yuki and I will move. 10, okay. 20, 35. There as well. And that'll be my turn. Also, do I hear anything? Like, more details towards uh, anything since I'm a little closer now. You know what? How we're going to do this, we're going to do this entire turn order um, in one go. So, okay. Zin, you may do your perception. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. Yeah, you definitely hear um, something uh, along the lines of... Oh, really? Interesting. Almost sounds like scraping on rock. Sound like one or multiples? Multiple. Okay. I will uh, call it to the party. I think there's multiple. They can't hear me. There is third. They are 30 feet up. That's what they're doing this turn orders. They're all crawling up and, and lying in wait. All right. Um, Ren, you're next. What do you want to do? Uh, I'm just heading for where they're at. So uh, 15, 25, because rough terrain. So 25. 35 is as far as I can go. So I'm here, and I guess my axe is just at the ready. Okay. Owl. I'm going to have Owl hmm, head southeast and let me see if I can link telepathically with me. If that requires an action, I think it requires an action. I'm like 90% sure it requires an action. Hang on, that's in Summon Companion. Give me a sec, sorry. That's an action. Okay, so he's going to head southeast. I'm going to tell him to stand by because I'm going to connect with him telepathically in just a second. Sure. Um, he can give me a perception. An 11. Oh, advantage 21. Did you seriously just got another fucking crit? Yes, sir. <laughs> He's a happy hoodie. How old crit and like a boss over here you know right what now? The funny thing is, that is... The one he can see also crit. However, nice. even with you both critting, you both rolled the same number. 21. Sweet. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay. Valor, in your turn. Uh, I'm going to use my action to link telepathically through the owl to see what I can see. So, you are able... Uh, you can actually see what the owl can see, yeah? Yeah. Alright. It's like looking through his eyes. Well, no, no, I, I mean like on the map. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, you see what he sees there? Yeah, but I, I see like little tokens. Yeah, give me an idea what so, it is. I don't think you uh, you might have fought some of these before. It almost looks like um, almost like a white lycanthrope. Um, however, the toes and um, fingers are elongated, and instead of a snout, it just has a snarling face. Let's see if I've got a handout for it. Actually, one second. I think we may have fought these before once.
Yes, you have. You guys should be able to uh, see what just popped up, yes? Yep. Well, you see two of them, Valoran. I'll describe to the party what I see. and uh, I'm stuck locked into the owl until my next turn, so that's me. The cave bear. Uh, by the way, these uh, the ones you did see, Valoran, um, they seem to be about 30 feet up. 30 feet up? 30 yeah. feet tall? 30 feet up like on the ceiling? Uh, the like wall. like they're uh, up near the top of the ceiling. They're, they've they climbed, climbed up. Got it. And I'll also relate to the party that they're apparently capable of climbing vertical and, and inverted horizontal surfaces. Cave bear. Um, so I'm just gonna move to like here. Can you give him an order, owl and order I can... verbally, like like he can, or is it gotta be a bonus action? It's a verbal. Okay, we'll send. So he'll move here, and then I will just ready his um, action for for the multi attack, so that if they start to get close, he will swipe. Sure. And now it's your turn. Actually, you know what? Um, Valor and what you could see, yeah. by the way, is that uh, when they climbed up, it looks like the, the two that you could see were like trying to take cover in the webs, hide themselves, like they're lying in wait. Um, I would allow you to relate that as well before Ray decides she wants to keep her bear just like over there, just in case oh, she wants to change her mind. Well. I'll relate that as well. Thanks. Yeah, I think I'll just keep what I did. Okay. Um, then it is your turn, Ray. Okay, so I'm going to use my Staff of Healing to just like bippity boppity Val. <laughs> bippity boppity Val. Yeah, the guy needs some heals. Thank you. I feel so shiny now. So shiny. And then I'm just gonna like water slide, bum slide off this spider and like go over here. You know, like when you're on a water slide? For sure. Anything else? Bonus action or anything? Uh, no. In off of the order, okay. my guy. Yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna start moving. Uh, five, ten, fifteen, twenty. I assume I can see these things now. Give me a perception as they are trying to hide. Okay, come on. Not so good. Let's see. So that's the first two. Um, unfortunately, you are not able to spot them. Okay. Um, then I will hold my action uh, to uh, shoot the first thing I see coming at us. Um, mm -hmm. And then Yukina will just move over here. Trying to keep some space open for the rest of the team. Okay. And that will be my turn. All right, he's going to move. You are unable to see him as he uh, gets through some more webs and he pulls back a little bit, realizing that his position is not good. Ren. The uppers, I am just uh, coming in. Full send. 10, 20, back to normal. 20, 30, 35, 40. So that's as far as I can get. So I'm uh, still just holding my axe action.
Okay. One second. That's all. one it's gonna stay where he is this one is also going to pull back slightly once I can get on the right layer still linked to me so we are just gonna fly on down the way here Let's see if we can see anything <laughs> bye mr al how how high are you flying bro probably about 15 feet off the ground cool cool well, in that case, as he's flying, you, sir, can give me a perception. And also, oh, I'm not even going to bother. Uh, yeah, throw me your, your, your perception. It would use your eyes since you're looking through it, unless you wanted to end it. Eight. Yeah, he doesn't see anything, and yet... They see him. Suddenly, you lose your connection. Uh, it kind of stings your head a little bit, um, but you, you've felt this before. Uh, you know that whatever's down there got your owl. Okay. And I'll pass on to the party that uh, lost visibility uh, and the owl, so I am now blind in that regard. Mr. Valoran, what would you like to do, sir? Uh, how high is the roof where we are? 30? Yep. And I will fly two, three, five, stop right here. And I will cast an illusion right here that looks like a, uh, let's say it looks like Ray um, looking around the, down the hallway or staring down the hallway because it can't move. Sure. Cave Bear. I guess I'll just like wait for. Like, I'll just ready my um, multi-attack, and he'll just wait. Sure. Ray. Um, I'll move next to Zin, and then I'll just uh, use my, like, ready my shillelagh. So... Bonus action shillelagh, and then ready it? Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Hey, Zen. Give me yep. a... Um... Perception? No. Survival or history? Your choice. Fucking wow. wow. Mm -hmm. You know what? I'm going to give you advantage... <laughs> Oh, thank you. 
God damn. Wow! Ooh. Wow! Okay. Wow, guys. <laughs> Not in the cards for me today, guys. I'm Holy able to shut shit. her down right here. Turn it off my computer. Chronal shift. No, oh, that means you get to roll again. Oh, God. <laughs> Why you do this to me, Val? You get three, you're fired. Oh, my God. You know what? I'll give it to you with an 11. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> so, you uh, are aware of how predatory creatures... Act. If these things are down here, it knows the train. It knows you have no way out. It's going to wait as long as it takes. Okay. Yeah. So Zin's gonna call it to the group. He's he's gonna say, "We're gonna have to push up. These things will just try to wait us out." Um, and then he'll. Uh, Look to Ren. Ren, I'll uh, I'll follow close behind you. Uh, Can I reply? Then... Yeah, by all means. I'll say, give me a sec. I got an idea. Zen always gets scared when Val has an idea. Um... Right. <laughs> I mean, who doesn't like a good fucking biting of the throat every now and then, right? Yeah. It yeah. worked. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. So uh, Zen is just going to, in that case, he's just going to hold his action to attack anything that tries to come down the hall, even though he knows they're not really going to probably do that. Okay. He's got to wait for his party members to do th some things. <laughs> and you can uh, as well will hold her action. Sure. We're having faith. God help us all. If you die, though, I will bring you back to life and murder you myself. Run. I just like glance right beside me to Val and I'm like I'm holding just to confirm before I just go in holding Valorant Val so I'm gonna move down there and cast fireball no she, she was asking you a question bro Oh, sorry. I'm sorry. I'm trying to multitask. What was the question? I'm sorry. I was just looking at you and asking, like, hold? Hold. Yeah, I don't want to run it. Okay. Hold. I'm just keeping my axe ready then. I mean, you can also hold an act uh, action to dash as well. Um, it's up to you whether you want <clears throat> to hold an action to dash or hold an action to swing. Oh, I can hold a dash? You can hold, you can hold any action. So that's the only way you can move on a held action is if you're holding the dash action. Okay, I'll I'll hold the dash. And what is the trigger? The trigger is can it be to just stay with Val? Can I just run to wherever he runs? Um, yeah. Sick. Valorant. I just picture that, Ren like getting into that like marathon runners kind of stance. Just like or, staring up at Val while she's waiting. <laughs> Your savage would allow us to court. She might hold it until I yell go. Yeah. Sick. Yeah, I'll hold it for your word. Valorant's got the starter pistol in the form of a fuck of fireball, I'm sure. Yeah, that's that's exactly what it yeah. is. <laughs> you fucker. Send it. It's the closest thing I've got to a grenade, dude. Yeah, no, it uh, it might do the job too, because uh, I mean it's all webbing, right? I told you we're burning this shit to the ground. All of it. Okay. So, uh, yeah, all right. Send your damage. Okay, wow. wow. Very That's nice roll. Damage. Thank you. I'm here I for this. Kill. And your DC's 15? Yes, sir. Okay. Give me a perception. Me? Yup. Cool. Oh. It's bright. You hear uh, multiple... Uh, 
roars as this spell goes off. So let's see. First four paths. So how much? And the webs, uh, you, you can smell the burning webs wafting out, the, the smoke as the fire lights. What else you got? I'm going to move back and yell go. Out of the way. <laughs> okay. From player to player, I'll be right behind you. Are you running in real life? No, you won't, Val. <laughs> I really will. Running in real life? I thought I, I heard it sound like you were like way, right? running in real life. Forget how to count. Okay, sorry. <laughs> so you moved two so far. So you got six left. Five, ten. I'm going down this hall, right? Indeed. Get it, girl. Get 30. it. Get it. Get it. Um, How did you possibly stop in between squares? <laughs> like, what? <laughs> oh, shoot. I did stop between squares. Nailed what it. Is that? Okay. As you get to here, give me a perception. Um, You can do it at advantage as the... Uh, no, straight roll because of the smoke from the burning webs. Straight roll. I am perceptive as hell. Um, you can see, <laughs> um, you can see this one here, this one here, and and the one right above you. Wait, what? Can you pick? Can you show me again? Oh yeah. One under, uh, one underneath your token, and the other two you can see here. Can't see the others. I mean, there are no others. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> That's all. I'm here now. <laughs> hey, bear. The K bear is just gonna like hold our flank. Okay. Oh, this is going to be fun. Friend, this one leaps. Uh, you don't see it coming, so give me a... Uh, you know what? He's going to leap and immediately claw. Okay, and I need a dexterity save, please. Wow. Yeah, no. Um, this one oh, lands... Oh, wait, never mind. I think this doesn't count. Continue. <laughs> uh, so, this one lands atop you. driving you down to the ground. And as you're on the ground, he rakes his claws from the nape of your neck down your back. You take five slashing damage. Okay. Ray, you cannot see what happens, but you hear Ren shout out in pain. And you know that the fight has started. What do you want to do? Um, I'm just going to step in front of my cave bear, but I'm going to s stay there so that 
and then I will just keep my shillelagh at the ready, and that's it. This one also leaps down. Jerry C, run. 16. So this one also uh, leaps down and starts to shred you. Uh, from two attacks uh, clawing into your back, you take a total of 12 slashing damage. Zen. Yeah. You can hear um... uh, Ren in pain. Okay. I'm going to start moving. Yep. Can I see one from here? Uh, you can see this one. Um, and yep. actually you can see the one on top of Ren. Okay. Perfect. Let's start shooting at that one. Sure. Send it. Um... Uh, and Yukina can't see me right now, right? Mm, no, no, she can't. Okay, yeah, so I can't use that, but I will use Favored Foe. Okay. Yeah, you want to describe it? Oh, hell yeah. The Zin comes around the corner seeing the the one on top of Rennie just, like, pops it in the, in the top of its skull. Yeah, um, he, he's getting ready for another swing, and then as his hand's about to come down, the first arrow pierces in through the back of the skull and shoots out one of the eyes. And he drops on top of Ren. Not nice, but nice. Um, uh, and then can I see this one now? Yes. Bam. Yup. Uh, I'll use my last favorite foe. You want to describe it? Just another quick pop in the skull of this one, and that one as he crumples to the ground. This um, one enters the eyeball uh, and pierces out the back. Uh, the, almost the entire arrow is like all the way in. You can just be barely see a little bit of the the quiver uh, or the the feather on the back side of the arrow, kind of sticking out of the eye, and it falls backwards to the ground. Nice. Um, and then I have no more movement, so that will be me. And the only other thing is you can all just kind of move up. And that'll be it. Uh, this one comes across. 5, 10, 15, 20, 5. Give me a perception. Ooh. Uh, yeah, you don't notice this one, uh, as it's still up on the, uh, near the top. It leaps down onto you, and as it does, it's gonna make, uh, first I need a deck save. Yeah, you manage to step out of its, uh, way as it comes down. Uh, you may move your token one square in direction of your choosing. Tracy 19 um you managed to uh dodge both swings like your Mah Muhammad Ali yeah Ren you now have a creature laying on top of you it is uh um was this consented um <laughs> no but near neither was <laughs> the kidding. arrow in the back of its head so <laughs> yeah the creature that's, that's not what I meant dead, right what? So it's just the creature that's on me is dead. Yes. Okay. I'll just uh, try to chuck it off then. Yeah, Pick sure. It off. 
Um, this one isn't like as large as a phase fighter, so I'll say it won't take your action. You just kind of like roll it off of you as you roll to the side. Uh, you can use half your movement to stand up, should you wish. Yes, please. Yeah. And then this guy, there are they, sorry, they're still on the wall or they're where I can reach them? This one here is where you can reach it. The one that is on your token right now is actually still 30 feet above. Okay, um, I'm gonna, uh, take a rage. Oh, God. Take a rage. <laughs> Ren just kind of squats on this dead body and just drops a shit. <laughs> <laughs> just, uh, okay, I'm raging and I'm just going at him with my AX. Full send. Let's see it. Yep, that's a hit. Damn. Ooh. Nice. 19. 19, okay. Are you looking pretty hurt? Oh, yeah. Okay, it's just gonna do it again then. Uh, except for I'm gonna do it recklessly. Weird of me to do one of my attacks recklessly and not the other, but it's fine. I think you have to choose it on the on your first attack, do you not? I don't think so. Post it for me real quick. I can look though. I oh, think it specifies do. the first, uh, first attack. That's fair. Okay, I can't use it, but oh, it, it seems. Well, it, to am me I right? Gives... Or are you just yeah, guessing? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Just um, it's random though, because it just gives me dis uh, other people advantage on me. So you'd think that they would like me to use it whenever, but I'll just do my second one. Yeah, it's Oops, a hit. I accidentally already had it on. Doesn't matter. It's still your first roll. It's a hit. Yeah, so... Another 16? Yeah, I'm guessing you're decapitating, yes? You freaking bet I am. All right, so you, your first attack, uh, you stand up and you swing your axe and you take off one of its arms at the forearm and while it's still in shock, it kind of looks up at you just in time to see you come back with a backswing and its head rolls to the side as it collapses. Then I'll uh, just uh, get up in this guy's business, and that'll be my turn. Okay. Hey, Ren. Mm-hmm. Give me a dexterity save. No. <laughs> Ever so slightly better. Than this one lands time. on top of you again, driving you to the ground. You are prone. He's going to make two claw attacks against you. Wow, really? Advantage and you still suck? Oh, wait. One of them hits. 16. 16 mm, hits, yeah? Okay. Yeah. Eight slashing damage. Uh, as uh, this one draws another uh, several lines of blood across your back with his claws. Great. Second one somehow managed to fucking miss, but you know, is what it is, I guess. This one. Zin. Give me a perception. Okay. Maybe I can actually do it this time for once. Uh, nope. The most yeah. perceptive character can't perceive shit. Yep. I've, I've, I've noticed that. You, you've, uh, damn. Yep. Uh, so, unfortunately, you land prone as one jumps on you. He drives you prone, and then he also does a couple claws. Ooh. Well, the first one's definitely a hit. Nothing you can do about that one. Uh, second one, however, managed to, to fucking miss. But uh, from the first, first one was a crit. Yeah. Uh, you get you take eleven slashing damage uh, as he tries to like bury his uh, his claws into a hole in the armor around your right armpit. Oh, I guess I should probably put him on the proper field so you can see him, huh? Yeah. 
All right. Well, you can't see him because you're over top of him, but he he's there. Yeah. All right. He's okay. there. I believe you. You know, I feel it. All right. I'll see. One, two, three. Ren, you're already on the ground, right? Yep. All right. going to get to here and you can uh, need to make a perception please uh, is that a save or a check sorry perception uh it's a check okay i just yeah because her save for wisdom is different than her check so she notices it shows she has advantage on this uh dexterity save Yeah, she. Uh, you can move her one square uh, of your choice. Mm, can she go here? She sure can. Okay. As this one leaps down, uh, she manages to dodge it. Um, it's going to turn on her and attack. Okay. Uh, what's her AC? 17. All right, so she takes five slashing damage as... Uh, okay. Uh, it it, it kind of slashes, and you see some of the uh, scales kind of fly off. Um, but then it misses with its second swipe. Valorant. And I'm going to cast Wither and Bloom with the third level. Okay. Let's see what that is. Sure. That's such a cool spell. Yeah, I, I, I remember using it before, and I was like, that's fucking bomb, but I can't remember. Yeah, okay. it's like hurt enemies in the area, and then heal targeted uh, allies 10 foot radius sphere so where are you putting it okay so all three of them huh yeah should be all four there's one on you can have right. one on Zen, one in the middle and one in red two on a second oh right there's one behind fucking or underneath Zen's token that's right yeah all right and it is a con save roll me your damage my guy Oh, get the fuck out of here. Bruh. Damn. Alright, so... Addition one creature of choice in that area can spend and roll one of its unhit. Okay, so, um, are you offering to allow somebody to roll their hit dice? Yeah, I'm gonna allow Ren the chance to do that. Alright. Thank you! Sweet. So, let's see, that is a whole 11, eh? Uh, Fucking Yahoo. And it's half on a success, yes? Yeah. Yes, it is. Okay. So, so they giggle and laugh? I mean, I wouldn't say that. They're not exactly all looking great. That fireball, like, did some shit. Well, I was hoping you were going to leave me back in the hallway so I could do another fireball. Oh, no. Once, once they got attacked like and as soon as somebody moved up within range yeah they were they were gonna fucking drop so yeah. 11 so okay. that one's a save so that is that much uh sorry zen i gotta move you a second this one was That's okay. a pass no that one's a fail Also, uh, Val, you did it at second level, by the way. What? I thought I clicked on third. Well, you only rolled 2d6, I'm pretty sure. Uh, no, he rolled 2d6 uh, no, yeah. and then 2D6. 1d6. He, yeah, it, it's a level two spell. Oh, the the higher level cast. Understood. Yeah, so there's the five plus six. So we did, it's yep. 11. Got it. That one is I pass. Pay attention to the top part. But I think Ren can actually use two hit dice. I think I can. That's what I was reading, too. I was like, can I do it again? I can't. Yeah, that's dope. And then the Ooh, and that second hit dice? Wow. Stick. Okay. Uh, anything else, Valorant? That's me for now. Hey, Bear. Just so you know, I'm looking amazing. 
Okay. <laughs> Always are. Uh, uh, cave bear, same, same. Same, same, same. Oh, he's not moving? Okay. Uh, then it's your turn. I'm gonna shillelay this guy in the face. Sure. Uh, he's facing Yukina, so right now it'd be the back of his head. Or the side. Or you can even get up between the legs. Mm. Nah, well, there's like, like a two-handed baseball bat kind of swing to the back of the head. Full send. Yup. Oh, that's just enough. You want to describe it? Yeah, like, I am over this. I don't want spiders. I'm over the goo and getting attacked. And I just put all of my teeny tiny bit of rage into this bat and swing into the back of his head. Okay, okay. Yeah, you uh, you, you cave in the back of his skull and he just falls um, forward onto the ground. Um, blood leaking out. Bonus action, more movement. Uh, nope, that's it for me. Zen, you have one atop you right now. You are prone. You may do a contested athletics to get out if you wish. Yeah, because it's either a tested athletics or a attack at disadvantage, right? Yes. <sighs> um. <clears throat> Yeah, I guess I'll attempt the contested athletics. Wait. Athletics. Oh, it's pretty rough. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually going to attempt the disadvantage. Um, and I'm going to uh, drop my bow. Uh, bow action, pull up the scimitar, and then attempt to attack at disadvantage. Okay. Um, give me one sec. I need to look something up. Yeah, make your attack. All right, come on, hit. I hate that that actually works. Give me your damage. Great, great, great reaction. <laughs> oh, um, <clears throat> sorry, it's not my longbow, by the way. Oh, it's, that's uh, my scimitar. Your, your attack is the same, though, is it not? Uh, it's minus one, so it'll be uh, 21 and 18 instead. Sorry. Uh, Still works. I, yeah. There's the damage. Oh, now I just want to take that not one. <laughs> Eight, three, one. So that's 12. Okay. You, uh, you, you slash, you, you try and get your, your, uh, your scimitar, um, into a better position. You kind of like bring it across. So the back, uh, backside of the blade is like, kind of like right against your stomach, but the, the sharp end is towards him and you slice straight across. Uh, you feel the blood start to leak from him um, as it roars in pain. You feel something um, kind of hot and wet and, and sloppy land upon you. Gross. Can't see what it is, but you're, you're pretty sure you just started to cut his intestines out of his body. Fantastic. Um, I assume he's still alive? Uh-huh. Yeah, so Yuk Yukina's turn, she'll bite it. You only used one attack, eh? Oh, I can use multiples? Well, yeah. Right. You still have extra attack, just because you're restrained. Okay, can, can I attempt that, then? Is that okay? Even though I forgot? No, I mentioned it because you can't fucking do it. Yes, you can do it! <laughs> okay, well, I, I screwed up, so, you know. Okay, I missed the That's second That's like saying time. I have a secret, but I can't tell you. Yeah. <laughs> I missed uh, the second time. So. Yeah, uh, as as uh, you you go to drag a, you know, kind of like turn it into a sawing motion, it kind of like slaps your hand down so you can't move it. Um, but then Yukina comes up and bites him. Give me damage. Nine. That's a good one for her. Oh no, I put you in the wrong spot. I just uncovered a bunch of the map. Well, there's nothing that I saw there, so. God damn it. 
No, but it gives you a fucking approximate layout. Yeah, I guess so. All right. Uh, it, I didn't, it didn't show me too much, to be honest. You're lying. I know you're lying. Now your character's no, dead. It, it, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> um, as as uh, it, it stops your blade from coming back across its body yet again, Yukina just reaches out and bites into his thigh, and she rips. And you can... The, the blood flowing from the femoral artery, you can hear it hitting the ground. And you feel his uh, his weight on you get heavier as his strength wanes and he just kind of collapses onto your body. Yep, and that's my turn. And what is your strength, by the way? Uh, strength is 13. Okay, so for you to get out, uh, Ren was able to roll him off because she's got of her strength. Uh, you yeah. will have to take an action unless somebody like tries to pull you out. That's fair. Uh, this one is yeah going to turn on you, Zin, hearing the death rattle of its ally. Um, yeah. Um, as it lands on you, the other one turns on you, roars, and comes in. Um, almost the only thing visible, um, and easy to get at is your head. He takes two chunks. Actually, uh, I'm pretty sure he does. What, what's your AC again? It's, uh, 19, but did they crit? I'm not going to tell you that. Or, okay. I, I don't know how it works with shields. I'll tell you they hit. Know the number. I'll tell you they hit. Okay. Well, then I guess I use shield because I don't know how that's supposed to work. So. Yeah. Um. So how how shield works is if I say it hits, then you decide whether you want to use it or not. Okay. So you you you're using shield. Yep. So, the first one manages to uh, hit your shield. However. The second one manages to punch through, and he... Fucking son of a bitch! And at first it feels like the second one is going to claw a, a chunk of your hair out um, as it goes across your scalp. Uh, your shield just barely manages to hold it. Your turn, Ren. Ogly dogly. I believe you still have one on top of you, yes? Yes. So you are prone. Yeah, prone um, but it's alive this time. Mm-hmm. Athletics to get out. I'm, not, I'm just going to fight it from below it. Okay. She should bite his throat out. Jesus <laughs> Christ! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm attacking recklessly. Oh. Oops, I did not mean to. It's still the first one, but I just meant to have it on normal. Okay, 26. I get excited about my reckless attacks. You, uh, you kind of lift your arm out with your axe, and it, you, you put them both above your head as he's struggling to hold you down, and you kind of, like, it, it's really hard to get the, um, get the angle down, but you manage to uh, kind of use the weight of the great axe to um, just kind of like let your wrist go, and it slams him directly in the back. Oh, so fucking close. <laughs> I'm doing it again. Sure are. Oh my gosh. This my time... second attack is always an 11. <laughs> You lift it up again, and as you go to bring it down, he kind of lets one of your arms go as he kind of, like, swings it around the back. And, unfortunately, your axe, uh, he kind of slaps it, and the head of the axe manages to land about an inch shy from hitting him. Hitting the floor. That's it for me. Uh, 
Oh. And the one that's on top of you. Is going to take some attacks. It would be weird if he didn't. Yeah. Wow. I gotta look that rule up. I think it's supposed to be a crit if you're fucking prone. But uh, until I look it up, we're not gonna run it that way. So, a 17. What's a crit if I'm prone? Anything? Um, any any hits. I think they're supposed to be crits. That's how I've seen it run several times, but I'm not sure if that's a homebrew rule or like a house rule. But I'm that not, seems wild. I'm not going to rule it that way until I look at it. But a 17 hit? Yeah. Four slashing. So you take a whole two fucking damage. <laughs> as he tries to like um, use one of his hands to like burrow a claw. Actually, you know what? His back feet have claws too. As he's kind of like struggling with you, he, he uses his foot and drags it down your calf. Um, and drawing blood. Valoran. Yes, sir. I'm gonna take a shot at the one on top of Ren with uh, Toll the Dead. Okay. Send if it. I can find it. Oh, no. Too late. Miss your turn. Uh, 16? Let's Even that Wisdom. Ren, this thing begins to wither on you as it, it kind of like, it, it lets go of you and kind of goes up to its knees and like holds its ears and it roars. And as it opens its eyes, you watch them just fucking melt in its skull. Blood pours from its mouth, eyes, ears, and nose. And then <laughs> falls atop you. And that is that my sick. turn. Yeah, maybe it's a incapacitated that they do that for then. Maybe it's not. I mean, look. If I was, like, knocked out, it would make sense. <laughs> oh, it's paralyzed. It's paralyzed if that happens on. Any attack that hits the creature is a critical hit if the attacker is within five feet of the creature. So, you're not paralyzed. Yeah, it's not incapacitated, it's paralyzed. That's how that works. Cave that makes bear, sense. Just... If, you can't, if you can't hit someone that's uh, paralyzed really well, that, <laughs> that seems like a you problem. Right. Right. Um, do, 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 do. Cave bear, just hanging out. Yeah, he's uh, going to be, or he's just holding our flank in case something happens. Okay, Ray, what's up? What's up? What's up? Um, can I notice if anyone's like hurting? Um, I mean, Ray has. Uh, I'm gonna say you probably can't see Ray between all the beings Me? in the way. Or yeah, Ren. And honestly, <laughs> even if you could, she ain't fucking bad. I look beautiful. Yeah. The, the little bit of okay. blood she's she's spilling from her leg is, uh, you know, just adds to her a je ne sais quoi. Okay, then I will, exactly. um, I will cash a lele and ready my action for if somebody comes and then I will just smash him. Okay, Zen. Hmm. Yeah, so I guess I gotta use an action to get out from underneath this guy. You do. Yeah, it's not yep, gonna be so... contested, obviously. Just give me an athletics. Yep. Um, yep. Sounds good. Athletics. Oh, not advantage, of course. No, uh, I love it. I'll give it to you. It's dead. It's not like it's fighting back. Okay. And then uh, when I get up, I get up in the square I'm in, right? I don't have to move left. Yeah, right. no. His body kind of like goes off to the side and you use half your movement to stand up. Okay. Uh, bonus action. I'll pull out my second scimitar. Okay. Uh, and that will be my turn. Um, and then for you, can I can, you can uh, move to here? Is that possible? Yar. And then bite. Chompity chomp chomp. <laughs> yup. This That's thing, it. Uh, 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 although it's facing you, um, Yukina comes in and takes a bite out of its shin. You can see bone um, where she took a chunk out. Uh, 
Um, and in response to that... Jesus Christ. Jesus fucking Christ. Uh, her AC is 17, yeah? Correct. Uh, she gets hit once. Uh... Right in the same spot where some scales were already missing, it, it digs its claws in and, like, kind of digs in underneath the flesh and takes a massive chunk out. She takes nine slashing damage after dodging the first one. Ren. Yep. Same dealio. Okay. Voila. Yeah, you uh you you chop down at this one's back. That is a hit. Um you you take a massive chunk out of him. Oh sorry, it's yeah, the one on top of you, right? Whoops. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um Having recovered from um, the axe hitting the ground, you pick it up, you, you kind of bring it down on top of him, and his body immediately slumps onto yours as you seem to have severed the spine. You you hear the death rattle, like, right here. <laughs> um, okay, then, is it possible for me to, like, shove an arm out and hit this other one because it takes a full action for me to get this guy off of me right no for because of your strength you can just roll him off up? yeah <laughs> okay well then i'm just gonna stand up and use my second attack on this guy okay because you you strong yeah you strong oh my god is a 12 hit <laughs> don't you have advantage because you're standing up now <sighs> not uh not unless <laughs> no she, she didn't use her reckless on her first attack i did yeah, yeah, I did. That's why I got to roll the normal. <clears throat> All right. Okay. Yeah. Give me, give me another roll. <laughs> Damn it! We tried so hard. We tried so hard. <laughs> oh no! It's because they had to even out to a fucking eleven. Yeah. Un yeah unfortunately, right. as as you stand up. <clears throat> <sighs> and you bring down your axe um and you you kind of like pulled it back too far and you accidentally hit the wall which threw off your aim and uh you came up a little short okay ray thanks for coming we'll uh we'll see you next time for sure is there anything else you wish to do ren Nope. Valoran. Oh, damn. Damn, that roll, bro. Yeah, not great. Wow. Wow. And he made it out. <laughs> no, he rolled a nat one. Oh, sweet. Six. Take that. It covers its ears as uh, it, it can hear a bell that, or uh, yeah, a bell that nobody else can. Um, I mean, you, you see a little trickle of blood come out its nose, a um, little, a uh, little less than what's you know leaking from everywhere else. And that is me, Cave Bear. Cave Bear will stay where it's at and then hold its multi-attack. Okay. And um, Ray. Ray will do the same. She will uh, hold an action uh, because nobody's looking too hurt, I don't think. So she'll just hold an action mm -hmm. to attack. You just didn't want her to get the killing blow. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know how she's going to get through uh, the hallway, but you know. I'm just playing. Uh, Zen, it's your go. Uh, am I still under? I'm still underneath, so I have to use that. Oh, no, but no, you, you, you got to. Just an action. Yeah, that's right. All right, I'll swing at this thing then. Yep. Drake reaction. <laughs> you want to describe it? That was exactly the amount you needed. I love it. Uh, yeah, like uh, as he comes over, he's just going to horizontal slash 
with the icy blade across its uh, midsection. Yeah. Um, yeah. It, at first, it looks like it's going to start uh, kind of disemboweling him, but the wound freezes over, but it also freezes the intestines underneath. And as he falls to the ground, you hear a, a, almost like a shatter. And all of a sudden, blood starts pouring out um, as chunks of uh, his flesh and intestines um, kind of spew to the sides in icy shards. And with that, we are out of combat, and we are going to take our, uh, I don't know, is five minutes enough? Yeah, for me, unless I've been for me. Okay, perfect. Excellent. We'll be back in about five minutes. We're just going to take a quick bathroom break, and then we'll be right back, everybody. And Hokey Smokes, I think that's the first time I was able to use the that ability that comes with your thing, Val. Because I think usually I'm okay when you... Yeah, I think it, so. But I was actually pretty hurt, and now I'm, like, beautiful. Awesome. I felt bad you go running down the hallway, and we're all just standing there going, Oh, look, there goes her aunt. She's, she's charging down the hallway. <laughs> it's what I do, man. So... As combat has ended, you guys take a moment to catch your breaths. Or has it? It has. Currently, I mean, if you, <laughs> you, I mean, I don't know. Like, <laughs> ah, 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 ah. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie; I thought that was gonna be more of a challenge. Yeah, I was gonna say you made it sound pretty scary, and we were fine. Oh, that's because they missed like fucking probably two thirds of their attacks. Even when you we guys were thrown, they missed on top of us. Yeah. I mean, I did miss half of my attacks. <laughs> yeah but you also got like a plus eight and a lot more damage man these things didn't have a whole lot i just figured I the, the amount i was like no, you know I what i'm it's, strong it's, it's gonna fuck you guys up a little bit no no of course not um <laughs> but yeah as combat ends what would y'all like to do uh ray will take a look around to see if anybody's hurting at all and i need to just pick up my two javelins that are still out and about Sure. Um, I I I know Zin and Yukina are hurt. Is anybody else hurt? Mm -hmm. I feel great. Okay, so she's gonna use her staff twice: once on Yukina and once on Zin. Okay. <laughs> what are those things we fought again called? Pagoths. Can you spell that? Q U. A G G O T H. Like quag and goth. Put together. Sick. <laughs> um, can I also collect oh shoot, how many dudes I think I only really killed one by myself. Like finishing blow on one, so I'll grab a quagoth tooth. Sure. <clears throat> um and then uh can uh, Val, would you like to help Zin do some uh, searching over the bodies and harvesting if there's anything to harvest? I would love to help. And uh, can Ray look for mushrooms inside the, the cavern? That's sure. Possible. And the bear will kind of be on guard this whole time. Kind of like blocking the entrance and exit as people are, you know, letting us through but not letting through anything else, of course. Sure. Um, Even though he's like... He's like... Okay, wait, wait, wait. Question. How does um, Ray's thing work? Is it like a spirit in the form of a bear? Is it an actual bear? So, yeah, it, it's an actual bear, but when it dies, it poofs. The summoned beast is a spiritual of a, an animal. So this one actually looks and feels and like a bear. It's furry, etc. I'm going to go hang out with the bear. <laughs> nice. <laughs> it's like my kin, kind of. <sighs> You feel at home with the bear, fair? Yeah, I'm. I am a bear barbarian, and I haven't really hung out with many bears. And of course, the word bar bear, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Boo puns. <laughs> Sorry. Dude, why is this? Jesus Christ! Damn, that took forever to open. What the fuck? Oh, why did everything just minimize on me? Son of a bitch! All right. 
So, first off, everybody. There we go. Okay. So, let's see. And what kind of creature was that? Um, are you guys trying to harvest the Quagos or the spiders or both? Uh, I'm gonna I, I'm gonna go through both if Val wants to help me. Start with the spiders because they're the more obvious ones, and then we're also searching because if the Quagoffs are more humanoid looking, maybe they have items on them. If not, check for harvestables. <clears throat> okay, just see if I'm. I assume find. they have like sharp claws and things like things that I might think might be of value. <clears throat> One second, just looking to see if All right, so So I think how we're gonna do harvesting <clears throat> it's gonna be uh different roles based on the monster type. To see if you can figure out what is useful. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. So, um, <clears throat> so the Quagos are first, yes, since you're right by them, I take it. Either or, yeah, whatever, whatever is easier for you. Let's see, we've got that is a oh really, it's a humanoid. Interesting. That one's going to be medicine check. Let's see if you can figure out if anything's useful. And then let's see if I can actually find them in the. And uh, Val's helping me, so do I get a advantage? Yes. Okay. Unless Val's choosing not to help me, but I thought he said he did. So. No, no, I'd absolutely yeah, help no, you. He, but... he, 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 I definitely heard him say, "Yeah." Wow. Wow. Oh. Bruh. This is oh. not my day for checks. No, no, it is <laughs> not. Oh man too bad because uh, it's kind of a cool one uh you don't think anything's really useful on it yeah chronal shift <clears throat> i mean he yeah okay roll another d20 i mean if you'll allow it yeah roll another d20 cool. i mean you've only got so many of them a day yeah only two per day oh okay yeah, Daddy. you're pretty sure that you can, uh, <clears throat> that the pelts of these creatures would probably be useful. Okay. <clears throat> All right, then we'll uh, we'll start with those. Cool, cool. So there is seven of them. Yeah. I'm gonna ask you to roll me a d7 first to see how many of them are gonna be decent. Uh, some of them did take a lot of damage. Okay, yeah. Oh, yeah, I gotta do this slash order. Yeah. Okay. Three of them. Oh. Sorry, it lagged. You're gonna see it pop up again. Oh, it rolled the same number again. Okay. Good to know. That's really weird. It's just like I can move the number around, apparently. I don't know why. That's very strange. I feel like that shouldn't be happening. Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah, okay. you find three of them are um, in decent enough shape. You could probably get some... Uh, some excuse me. Goddamn, coffee's making me burp, apparently. Um, you can definitely get some toughs. Give me... Okay. Let's see, for three of them, so that's 3d6. <clears throat> Are you talking about able to drag the three around? Because I also can. No. No, no. Um, else. You are able to get 14 tufts of Quagoth fur. Sorry, did I say 12? I'm at 14. You get 14 tufts yeah. of Quagoth fur. You said 14. Oh, I did say 14? Okay, for some reason it... Mm -hmm. I don't know. Okay. 
Yeah, so that's what you get from them. <laughs> I do that too. Uh, do you want me to put any notes on that for future reference? Um, like cost or if there's something we I, I know I know my character doesn't know right now, but in case we don't want to have to have to look at it later. Yeah, let's put in um, the <clears throat> with fourteen. God damn, fourteen, huh? Um, yeah, we rolled well on that. Not on the amount of them that we got, were able to get, but the ones that we did, we, we, we got we got a good roll on. Uh, can be made into a cloak, or uh, you can sell them for a hundred gold per tough. Okay, got it. And then... Um, All right, so uh, how long does her bear last for? One hour. So it's just chilling for... You know, if, if this took more than an hour, it's gone. Um, but, you know. Um, Ren, you're hanging out with the bear, yeah? Uh-huh. Did you want to do anything with the bear? Are you just chilling? I'm just, like, connecting on a soul level with the bear. I mean, I think with your subclass, you have access to speak with animals if you wanted to. I do? You're probably right. One second, I've never used it. That could be pretty cool. Where would they be? <clears throat> oh my gosh, it's under my spells. I forget that I even have these things. Okay, I would like to speak with the animals. I just want to chat. Sorry, I'm muting my mic. Uh, yeah, I just need the spell to see if I can actually, uh, if they actually speak or if you just get kind of get feelings of, of what they're thinking. Uh, knowledge and awareness of many beasts limited by intelligence, but beasts can give you information nearby locations, monsters, including whatever. Okay. So they can basically have a rudimentary conversation. <laughs> Just so, however smart they are. I, just how smart they are. As they're, as they're dealing with the uh, the corpses of these Quagoths, you begin to cast a spell. And as you do so, the, the bear doesn't really seem to take notice. But your spell finishes. What do you want to do? I'm just literally like hunkering down beside this bear and being like so what's it like being a bear as you kind of speak <laughs> and it understands you <laughs> is what everybody else hears as it kind of like backs up a little startled and what you get from his groans is ah, you can speak my language I am a Barbarian. <laughs> Damn. I, <laughs> uh, I, uh, sorry, I was trying to read my spirit totem on how it works. Like, because I think it can. Be. <laughs> Just, I feel a connection with a spiritual connection with bears. Oh, well, you know, I'm not really technically a, a, a bear. I, I, I mean, I kind of am, but... Zen, can you post the, uh, post the spell for me real quick? I just need some information. Yep, I can, for sure. What the frick is beast sense? I don't know. What is it? Read it. <laughs> you tell me. <laughs> oh, it's basically the same thing Val can do with his um, familiar. Sick. Okay, so it is a... I'll use that one day. Face spirit takes the form of a bear and is unoccupied space. Okay, so it is technically a face spirit. But oh, okay. it's in the form of a bear. I'm technically from, you know, the Feywild. I, uh, I'm more the spirit of a bear than an actual bear. 
I also am the spirit of a bear, not an actual bear. <laughs> We're the same. I don't know if that's 100% true, but... I think it's pretty true. Are people afraid of you, too? Mm-hmm. Yeah. He kind of lifts his paw and... Hey, this massive paw. They're afraid of my claws. But I don't use them unless I have to. Or I'm hungry. Why are people afraid of you? Hmm. I... I'll just like hold up my axe and be like, I also... have weapons. But I also mostly use them. If I have to. Not when I'm hungry so much, but I am often hungry. I, the axe just it doesn't help. Well, it's not... Actually, same. Mm-hmm. Sometimes when I'm hungry. But did you know you don't have to always use our weapons when we're hungry? There is this stuff. It's gold. And people will give you food if you give it to them. And you can't eat it. It's just metal. Useless. But if you give it to other people, they give you food. Oh. Well, we have Good something food. similar back home. But it's more of a trade. Mm. The one who summoned me, she doesn't really offer us anything when she brings us here. It is a little strange. We're not used to that. Word is getting around, you know. Well, I can give you... I'm friends with her, so together, I can give you food. One second. And I, like, hustle over to Zin. Like, the bag. Yeah, so Zin, the, Zin will nod and <clears throat> open up the bag. What are you pulling out? I'd like to pull out two very large ribs, please. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, so, Savage, you said it was 21 pounds of brothy ribs. So, I guess, how many S pounds of ribs seven, are you pulling out? It's seven ribs, I believe three pounds each. So I'm pulling out six pounds. Okay. Thank you. And then I scurry back over to the bear and I hand him one of the ribs and I have one of the ribs. Uh, as you hand it to him, he kind of takes it in his mouth and he kind of like, you know, tries to hold it between his paws and he's like gnawing on it, pulling pulling the meat off. But then as he takes his first bite, like half the meat falls onto the floor. Oh. Oh well. I mean, I eat things straight out of the stream. Yeah. It's just a floor. Yeah. And he, 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 he eats it up. Hmm. That's good. But Right? What? Why doesn't... The, the, the one who summons me, why, why does she not give us food? I don't understand. Usually people make deals. We are fey. That, that's how it works. Well, we're friends, so we work together and we share things. So if she calls you, in exchange, I'll give you food. She doesn't carry a lot of food. She drinks mostly milk. So I don't know if you want what she has to offer. I have better food. Milk? Milk is for babies and cubs. It's She's not a good cat. For, it's not good for... For adult species to to drink milk, no matter how good it is, it tends to make you fat. Uh, I don't think she has that problem. Hmm. To be a cat. I know. So here's the deal: when you come, I'll give you food because you know I've got the good food. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm. I got 
I also have different kinds of meat. Do I have different kinds of meat with us? Just pies. We ate the other meat. Yeah, we, we you, well, yes, because you've got, yes. Short answer is yes. you got pies and, and ribs. Have you ever had pastry? And you have rations, too. Pastry? Wait, what, like, what's pasty? It's like they take wheat, grass things, and then they mix them up and they turn into a different food, and then they put meat inside. One second. I, like, run back over to Zin. <laughs> yes, <Okay>. Ren. <laughs> um, a bag. Uh, what is the most meat, the real player, player to player? Meat. You have three turkey meat pies, two raw thay, and then one beef. Oh, I think a raw thay. Okay. Oh, uh, we did just have raw thay ribs. It's fine. We can have more raw thay. It's fine. I'll take a raw thay pie and I'll run back over. All right. I'll sit on the ground and I'll break it in half and hand him half of the pie. See, it's a uh, pie pastry or uh, grass stuff filled with meat so it doesn't Ooh. fall on the floor easier to hold he sniffs it and he just like opens his mouth and like puts it around your whole hand and you're, you're, he, he pulls the pie off and he oh, nom, nom, <laughs> nom. Your, your hand is just covered in fucking bear slobber I also am like really taken by the pie though so i'm like i just like put this hand to the side like give it a little shake and then eat my half of my pie yeah as you you go to take out <clears throat> go to take a bite of yours he's already fucking got his like he's starting to swallow it, and he's like getting his nose closer and closer to the other pioneer and he's it's just just giving a big sniff you know i'll take like a like a big big mouthful of it like i'll eat as much as goes into my mouth in a bite and then I'll just hold out the rest of it. Yeah, uh, he he will take it. And then as he does, he's like, well, what are those things? I wonder how they taste. And he starts to walk over towards the arty, the, the skinned corpse of the first Quagos. Mm. He gives this sniff and he's like, hmm. They seem to have a bit of a smoky smell to them. And I'll come over with him and also sniff them. As you're sniffing, he kind of like goes in and takes like a, a small nibble to give it a try. And as he does, he kind of like rips a piece off and he starts chewing it. <laughs> is, is all you guys. You guys are sitting there skinning these and you guys can just hear Ren and this bear just... <laughs> <laughs> and she keeps running back and forth for food. Yeah. Uh, and then this uh, the the bear like spits us out and starts like shaking its head. No, 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 not good, not good. Oh, I think the pies are better. Um, what do you think about spiders? They probably real crunchy. Maybe not good. I haven't eaten giant spider before. Only normal spider. I, I don't know. Should we, should we try it? Just, like, go over and, like... In my brain, a spider leg has got to be, like... Similar, because it's got the crunchy outside, to, like, a crab leg. So I, like, crack it. And then try to, like, see if I can... Pull the insides out. Um, I'm going to say you can't really pull the insides out, uh... Because how a spider leg no is, idea how spiders is it, work. honestly, their their legs are almost like hydraulics. So when they're when the the basically it, it's it's not exactly blood. It, it's more like a hydraulic fluid. And when they, they die, the reason they curl up is because all the hydraulic fluid kind of runs either to the open wound or to the center of the body. That's why they lie on their backs. Is because it all pools on their backs, and then oh, the shit. the legs curl in. I still, I try, and I'm like, where's the meat? I'll find it. And he walks over, <laughs> and he grabs one leg in his, in his uh, jaw, and he just kind of, like, yanks it back and forth until you hear a crack. 
and the leg comes off and he kind of like you know sets it on the ground he sits down and kind of tries to grab it uh, between his paws and hold it up and he kind of just puts the mouth on the end and goes uh, <laughs> as, as he kind of like spits it out and shakes his head and no no I don't think I have found anything in this dungeon worth eating that I didn't give the medal for. Give the what now? Because I had explained money to him as metal. Right, right. So, I, the only time I found good things to eat down here, I gave someone the metal and they gave me those foods. The ribs. Oh. We... Can we talk to the one that brought me here? Uh, yeah, I can. Yeah. She begins to he he begins to walk over towards Ray, and he sits down in front of her. I'll translate. <laughs> <laughs> she she's kind of like looking at him, um, and uh. I mean, you can either translate or if she wanted to use the spell slot for, for beast speak with animals, right, she could. I, can, I already have it. I might as well just translate for her. Sure. The translating's funny anyway. Um, so basically he says, you know, uh, if you're going to summon us, you need to make a trade. It is rude not to I do such. I already made a trade with you, bro. But I'm explaining to her. Agreement. Sorry. <clears throat> I'm explaining to her. She can I understand me, agreement. right? No. I understand you. I can tell her what you're saying, but I thought we had an agreement. Me and her are one team. So as a team, we traded you the food I gave you. But you're more of a friend. She's the master until I go home. Well, we share the food, but I don't really. That guy over there holds it for us. He immediately gets up, and uh, since you guys are kind of down here, like skinning uh, things, he, he, the bear immediately, without letting Ryan even finish, kind of just walks uh, over towards where you guys are skinning Quagos and starts sniffing at you Zen. And you guys are kinda of down there like, you know, taking off the the tufts of fur and whatnot. And all of a sudden you hear <laughs> as they're kinda of just sniffing you out of nowhere. And you turn around and you you can see this bear. <laughs> I already traded Zen. you. Zen looks a little confused. I'm just following the bear, like, exasperated. I'm like, I traded you stuff. Did you give me anything? I gave you food. And if at this point... If this does not count as a trade, then you owe me. At this point, he kind of looks at you and cocks his head. <laughs> and you realize that your spell has worn off. You can no longer understand each other. It only lasts ten minutes. Yep. Okay, well, he can go away for all I care if he's not going to respect my trade, because I offered him a trade. He didn't give me anything, though, so he's actually breaking the rules of the Feywild. If he doesn't consider what I gave him a trade. Um, it is a gift. So how the Feywild works is technically, um, because you're not the one who summoned him, it is a gift. However, you are correct that, uh, when you receive a gift... Uh, you have they have to, to give you. Yeah, exactly. So he's going to walk over to the. Uh, hmm. Oh, you know what? I know what he's gonna do. Because uh, he he did he did hear you before your spell wore off about the. Uh, but he's gonna walk over here. And over in this area, there is a. Um, uh, I believe you guys had found the web cocoon. However, when you guys found it. It wasn't. Didn't seem to really be moving. However, 
Now he grabs it, this cocoon, kind of like gently bites it, and brings it back to you, Ren. And he places it at your feet. This seems like a bad gift. Um, well, this cocoon um, it was hu <laughs> humanoid shaped. Oh, well, and, can I cut it open then, maybe? Yeah. Okay. In fact, as he brings it over, you notice that it seems to be squirming. Um, it is a short humanoid shape. And as you lean down and you cut it open... <clears throat> oh, oh, thank God! Oh, the, oh, I couldn't breathe in there! Um, hello. I just, like, look at him on the ground. <laughs> uh, hi. Uh, why were you in... Why were you in there? I'm an idiot. Somehow I muted my microphone. I'm sitting here. Hello. 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 <laughs> I was like, I cannot hear you. So as he brings over this this cocoon and uh, he drops it at your feet uh, and it's it's squirming. Um, the, the thing kind of like uh, as you cut it open, you hear a <clears throat> as it takes a deep breath. And as it does, uh, give me a perception check. Uh, you notice that it does not seem to have a tongue. And as it opens its eyes and it sees this large half-orc and an even larger bear sting, uh, it, it it kind of starts grunting and, and kind of putting its hands up and, like, um, scurrying backwards, like, hands up, but, like, scooting his ass across the floor trying to get to the back wall, like, backing up. Uh, he, he, he slowly reaches for a pouch and, uh, he takes the pouch off his belt and he throws it towards you. You hear the jingle of something in it. And the bear kind of uh, hears the jingle too and looks at you and uh, kind of gives you what you can only assume is a smile. And he kind of like pushes the coin pouch towards you. Mmm. Metal for more meat. <laughs> metal for meat. Got it. Um, uh, hey, whoa, uh, buddy, uh, I took you out of the cocoon, I didn't put you in it, just, I'm, um, is it like a spider cocoon? Like a web? Uh, yes. In fact, roll me an insight. Okay. It's obvious he is scared. However, um, you're 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 not really sure uh, what it means with him throwing the the gold to you, or the 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 pouch with metal in it. Okay, <laughs> just, my assumption is just going to be that like he, you know, when you get mugged, you throw your purse, hope that they don't care about you. Um, just your money. Fuck like, that. Oh, Fight them. <laughs> no, no, I I like being alive. Um. Overrated. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Sorry, continue. Weird, <laughs> weirdly enough, I'm not a spider, so uh, you should know I didn't put you in the spider web because uh, literally can't. Um, so you're good. Uh, like I, I don't know that I should. I should take. It. I just think I'm looking for if any of my friends are staying nearby to be like, is any, can anybody help me out? I'm not the diplomatic stuff is not my thing. I mean, Ray is there, but Zin and uh, Zin and Val are, are skinning Quagoths. 
Well, is Ray there? Because she went to look for mushrooms, so I don't know where she was. Right, looking. she would have. Okay. Uh, yeah. So she there's... might be anywhere in the vicinity. I don't know yeah. where she is looking for mushrooms. So. Well, uh, I said huh. I said the bear went to talk to her, so I'm gonna guess she's kind of like looking around this area. Whoops. Sure. Which, by the way, give me give me a uh, survival. Uh, yeah, from her, right? Indeed. Come on, Ray. I know you want these really badly. Uh, wow. Holy shit. Uh, it doesn't matter if I'm rolling for myself or for somebody else. Then no, I no, for real, though. Fuck. Unfortunately, <laughs> she does not find any. Yep, that's on me. However, roll me a d4. Sounds good. <laughs> she finds two cave ingredients. Nice. So that is the one thing that I will need uh, Ren to put in, because you guys share are sharing the bag of herbalism, right? Or different bags. I think there's different bags. We have different there? bags. Yeah. Okay, I can't put that into her because I don't see oh, okay. her okay. Her herbalism bag because it's a separate item. Hey, guess what's in? Perfect. Okay, so two two for her. Two okay, under dark cave? or two two cave ingredients. Okay. <clears throat> a little upset though, like there's should be something for a fucking face spider in these um in these things, but I can't seem to find any. For a face spider? Oh, like, because that's what those spiders are, I assume? That I'm gonna be yeah. <clears throat> um, but yeah. So, it, it, it the, this goblin starts to motion. He kind of, kind of like, keeps his hands up. Um, he's still afraid of you, either way. I mean, he's had a, tra a traumatic event. And now he's awoken with uh, a tiefling, a fucking drow. Uh, a creature he doesn't know what the fuck it is, and a half orc, none of which are t usually friendly to goblins. So he kind of like, with one hand up, he kind of points to himself and he points to the exit, hmm. and, and then he he kind of puts his hands into you... like a begging motion. Yeah, uh, yeah, you can, you can, you're good. Go for it. Um, I. One second, though. One second. And I just, like, <laughs> turn to, like, yell at everybody else. Be like, hey, guys, um, there's a goblin dude, and he's gonna leave, okay? He he was trapped. Uh, Zin will hear this, and then he'll come over. Um, and, uh... Yeah, seeing you, he stops dead and, like, puts his back against the wall, and his eyes go wide. So, so Zin will speak in goblin, since he can do that. <clears throat> Um, and he will, uh, say, Hey, hey, don't worry. Don't worry. Uh, I know my features may be frightening, but, uh, trust me, I'm the good guys. Uh, are, are you from the bazaar? Oh, yeah, he can't talk, man. Yeah, but he could nod. He does, in fact. He, he, he kind of, like, keeps his hands up, uh, pressed and his back against the, the wall, and he, 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 like, shakily nods his head. He's like, he's like, okay, okay, we know Yek. We've been to the bazaar many times. We actually just freed another group from some drow as well earlier. So um, if you want to go on your own, you're welcome to do that. Or if you want to wait, we can escort you back to the entrance to the, the second level. And it should be pretty easy from there. Up to you. Let's see. He slowly puts his hands down, and he starts to nod frantically. And he just uh, kind of sits down against the wall. Okay, that's fine. Um, and then uh, what I'll do is I'll toss him some rations. <clears throat> uh, as soon as you pull out the rations, his, his eyes go wide, but not like a scared wide, like a, oh, fucking yes, please. Yeah, I figured <laughs> he's probably starving, so uh, I'll, I'll throw him some rations. 
<laughs> just throw some trail mix on his feet at the ground. <laughs> Here you go, peasants. <laughs> like, God well, damn. I assume I have them packaged. Yeah. I just figured he doesn't want me getting too close to him. Like, I'll get like 10 feet or whatever, and I'll just give it like a light toss so he's not like scared I'm going to stab him or something, you know? Yeah, yeah. I mean, plastic <clears throat> bags don't exist, but. Uh, it... Well, I was thinking like either leather bound or wrapped in a banana leaf or some BS. I don't know how we, I have it set up. Some paper? Sure. sure. Well, well, some well, butcher's well. paper? <laughs> He, he, he scrambles to it, picks it up, and undoes it, and, like, it, he's trying to eat it, but you can see that it hurts so much. Uh, he, yeah, he's trying yeah. to chew, but, like, you know, there's not much room in his mouth. His, his tongue is swollen as hell. Like, this is is not really a, a, a fucking old injury. This is relatively fresh. Oh, is that something maybe Ray could come <laughs> over and give him a, a little touch? I mean, unless you got uh, re uh, regeneration, it's not going to regrow it. But uh, oh, you, yeah, that's right. No, that's 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 right. So, but yeah, I mean, you, you could probably like you know um, heal him enough. It'd probably you know, <clears throat> the the wound would probably heal over, and the swelling Help could, could probably swelling. go down. Okay, yeah, she'll use uh, a charge on her staff to give him a little cure wounds touch. Sure. I don't know if you want me to roll it or if it uh, no, he's 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 got seven HP total. Like he's yeah, you know, so he's, he's missing four of it. He's just gonna be feeling great as as good as he can be without a tongue, basically. He he kind of like uh you, you kind of see some tears well up in his eyes, and his shoulders are kind of like bobbing a little bit. Uh, it, it it's pretty obvious. Like he's uh not crying of fear. It's not even really of joy, just relief. I'm also going to look at the bear and kick the little bag back to him. We don't steal things from people as gifts. Crazy. <laughs> I still don't think we've had an exchange. Just saying, but it's fine. <laughs> and he just kind of like sits down and like, just kind of like kicks some rocks with his feet and he just stares at the ground. Oh, he's Rude. pouting. <laughs> he should have accepted my exchange. <laughs> then he wouldn't know me. Uh, then we'll come back to go back to working. He, he gave you a new friend. He he feels that, you know, that that's worth more than some food. <laughs> you can't give people other people. <laughs> I mean, you totally can in the animal kingdom, man. It, it I mean, they don't have laws per se. Uh, Oh, that's so funny. I mean, and and D and D. Uh, the know. Feywild has laws. Sure, sure, they do. Um, but none. I I wouldn't think much of those are against slavery. I mean, you know. <laughs> I mean, the Feywild is a crazy place. But yeah. Um. I'm going to say um, over that time, um, Zinn and Valor and you finish uh, getting all the, the Quagos um, pelts. I'm really annoyed. Like, dude, I've got fucking four different ones and none of them have phase spider in them. That's ridiculous. Not under phase, not under spider. It's fucking steeders, but this technically a steeder. Steeder is technically a, uh, a spider. But it's like a spider mount. It's not really, you know, your regular fucking type of thing, right? All right, let me do one more check. No, it goes O straight to Q on that one. And spawn straight to Twin Collie. So that's not it. Uh, that one definitely did not have spider or phase spider and this one has goes straight from ogres to retrievers so that skips p and is it a phase spider not not a fey one it, it's a phase spider so ph -A? yeah yeah because oh i see it shows up in the monsters but not showing up in your your yeah not in my my uh yeah Got and then it, it goes understood. straight from sorrow sworn in this one to star spawn so it's not under PH or spider. That's that's annoying because I know there's supposed to be something you can make out of them. Give me one second here. Yep, no problem. Yeah, because I mean they sound like pretty cool spiders. I mean I'm looking at it now because we're done, but. 
the whole blinking style effect is really cool. Okay, I, I got something. Um, <clears throat> so that's a monstrosity. So if you guys are going to harvest these, I need uh, natures. One nature. Um, advantage if one of you is helping the other. I, I think uh, I'll help battle on this one. We can share the love on these. Yeah, because you've been rolling like shit. Yes. <laughs> yes. Val, please help me. Or, Val, I help you. Valorant, I'm not hearing nothing coming through, Mike. Nope, nothing. It's turning on, but no voice. Hey, yay, hey, hey. yay. Nope, no voice. Are you able to roll, Val? Happy Saturdays. No, no voice. Did you perhaps hear a dudum like or a dudum like you're uh, like something disconnected from a USB port or something? <laughs> I loved that. Dudum, dudum. No. You might have to uh, check your window settings. It might have deactivated your microphone. <clears throat> If, if Discord didn't uh, deactivate it. So go to your user settings in Discord at the very bottom first. And then voice and video. Um, it's getting close, yeah. And then settings at the very bottom on the left side by your name uh, and then voice and video and then what does your input device say is it using your microphone anything now yep holy shit I had to change it I don't know why but okay sorry about that y'all no worries. Sometimes the the, the computer will will like um, uh, there'll be a problem with it, and it'll just disconnect it. <clears throat> so then your Discord might change it to uh, um, to your auto to your other fucking device, or just go like to default or whatever, and it just fucks it all up. Got it. Got it. So has it been an hour since our combat? <clears throat> um, asking for a poison friend. I'm gonna say probably yes, um, and in that also that means the the bear while he's in his pouting phase, oh. poofs. It's right. contagious. Man. Jesus, I gave it to him. It's screwed it up. At least it's a fourteen. So, yeah, that's unfortunate. Um. You are aware that uh, you feel like you, you know it's got a poisonous bite. You felt the poison. However, you are not sure how to extract it. Okay. You may make an attempt to do so, though. Sure, I'll give it a whirl. <clears throat> because you don't know it's at disadvantage but I assume um, Zin is going to help you so it's a straight roll and it is yep. another nature okay 15 let's see there are four of them 
I would like 1d8. So, <clears throat> as you two uh, fiddle with these corpses, you do manage to start to uh, find a spot where you believe you could extract uh, the poison. Zin, do you have proficiency with the poisoner's kit, by chance? Uh, no. Disguise kit. Okay. Um, so... <clears throat> I'm going to say you guys get 3.5 vials of phase spider venom. You want to hang on to that, Zen? I think you might have used more, more than bait. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I can do that. That's not a problem. All right, Zen. Um, this is too long for you to put a note in. So yep. what I'm going to do is I'm going to send you a message in Discord and you can put it somewhere in notes or whatever you want. Sure. But... <clears throat> Sounds good. <clears throat> um, so you know that each vial of this... Um, not refined into an actual poison, just the venom itself. You can yeah. sell for about, uh, let's say, 80 gold a vial. Okay. okay. I don't think I you copied that, that whole amount. Hold on a second. No, it didn't. What the fuck? Okay, Constitution. <clears throat> that's the rest of it I don't know why I didn't send it all in one I guess there's a fucking limit on characters uh, for discord messages which is weird that is odd but uh, hey we'll, we'll, we got it so um, but that is going to take you guys another hour so I will allow Ray to do one more um, check oh come on if I fail again she might kill me later can I help her because the bear is gone? Yes. Okay. Uh, by the way, I'm sorry. It should be uh, your herbalism kit, not survival. So. Oh, yeah, that's right. It's okay. I don't think that really would have helped then. Um... Wisdom is proficiency if it asks for yeah. a query. Yeah, I just got to make sure she's on advantage now. Uh, boom. Wisdom. There we go. Hey, that okay. is important. Thanks for the help. help. Thanks for the help. <laughs> All right, where did I close it? Awesome. <laughs> yeah, I did close it. Motherfucker. course it's not gonna let me go to it let's see <clears throat> all right he rolled a 22 very nice power of friendship just saying so 1d6 plus 1d4 Wow. All right. So you have got. Uh, hmm. We're going to go with four. Uh, four. What is it called? Um, cave. cave and five. What's it, uh, what was it called? Um, Bioluminescent mushrooms. No, uh, j just five uh, cave. OK, so five cave and actually, you know four? what? Uh, sorry. We'll go with uh, with four of the mushroom she needs. Okay. And we'll do five uh, cave ingredients. Okay, sweet. That is amazing. 
Nice. <clears throat> okay. Uh, but you guys finish up all of that. Um, so we do have an hour left of game time. Um, what would you guys like to do? So I, have a uh, Go ahead. I was going to say, can we quickly take the goblin back to where he needs to, just back to the start of the dungeon because it's not too far? And then um, up to you guys from there. Yeah, that works for me. I don't suppose you guys remember what time it was when we started, yeah? Like, uh, it was 7 o'clock. It was what? 7 o'clock. AM or PM? AM. Yeah, because we just woke up, right? Okay. Yep. <laughs> we sure PM. Huh, no, yeah, it's it's early in the morning. Because we woke up, because we slept at the Chimera place here. We woke up. Right, 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 right. Came over here, and this was the first combat we had since. <clears throat> Okay. If you scroll up, I left a chat for the last episode. Okay. So it's probably been two hours since yeah, then. Yeah, um, right? I'm going to put it at like two and a half. So it's like 9.30, 10 a.m., somewhere in there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so if everyone's cool with it, can we just quickly take the goblin back to here? And sure. then um, maybe we can explore either down this way now or up that way, whatever we Oh, I thought you were escor more. escorting him back. No, just just to the third level. We just level, said like we to the end before. of the third level. Oh. All right. Yeah, I mean, like, that, like we did the other people. I mean, uh, are you guys trying to be quiet, or like y'all just like, ah, oh, we cleared it. Let's just go. Uh, we'll, I think we have we'll have a formation going, you know. Uh, yeah, but we cleared it like not long ago at all, in theory. So I feel like they've heard us. <clears throat> We've been fighting. Okay, so it'll take you guys about five minutes to take them back. Um, okay. And uh, he, he kind of, he, he nods his thanks, um, and he kind of makes some motions. Um, who would like to insight check it? Can I pull out a, a quill and a piece of paper and see if he knows how to write, maybe? It's oh. a stretch? I mean, it's a smart stretch. Yeah, I'll do that. I think it's a great idea. He writes a word down, and he points up the stairs. So let's put all of, all of you over there. Just give me a second. Boom. So he kind of, he writes a word down and he points up the stairs and um, he hands it, uh, since Zin's the only one who, who's, uh, has verbally spoken his language, I believe, he hands it to you, Zin, and in okay. Goblinoid, it says, safe? Uh, okay, um... <clears throat> Correct me if I'm wrong, that was right where we destroyed the other camp, right? And then it goes to Yex from there? I'm trying uh, to visualize I mean, the uh, second level. It is, it, it's a long fucking trip, if I remember correctly. Give me a sec. Yeah, I thought it was short for some reason. All right, let's find, where are these stairs? Oh, fuck no, it's literally the other side. Yeah, no, well, the, the stairs shit. are in the, uh, like, almost very southeastern point of the second level, and Yex is way up at, like, the north by the stairs to going up level one. Oh, shoot. Okay. Well, I thought it was close to that. Maybe we ought to go? Yeah, we, I think we might have to escort him if that's okay with everybody. Just <laughs> escort him there and they'll come back. Works for me. Sure. All right. Well, it's going to take you about an hour. Yeah, um, I figured it was. Like, you don't really, it, for some reason, I don't know why. I thought it was like right close out of what's going on in my head. You don't really run into any trouble um, as you get him back uh, to the area. Um, did you guys want to actually go back to that level, or are you guys just taking him and coming right back? Yeah, I think we're taking him and coming back. Yeah, I really want to okay. find the um, the the place where the stones need to go, if possible. So, 
question for an ongoing goal, um, and this may take some thinking about Savage. If I wanted to summon a Quasit as a familiar instead of a Owl, um, I think it'd have to be like research because the spell as written doesn't do that. So, um, there it's it has to be specific um, creatures as you're familiar. Um, now, to summon something else, there are like subclasses and and uh, or uh, subclass features and shit like that that would allow you to do that. Like uh, a warlock has to use uh, Pact of the Chain to summon something like that. Gotcha. Okay, so it's not we can't get there from here. I'm with you. No worries. But it's going to take you guys about uh, another two hours to get there and back. You guys don't run into any trouble. But you guys arrive back at the uh, bottom of level three stairs. Um, when you guys get, uh, get to the, the place, though, I mean, uh, you know, the, they, they let you in. Um, and the... Uh, and the... Uh, other... Goblin, Jesus Christ. And uh, you hear one of the other goblins go, Freak! Where you been? And he kind of like lets out a, another sigh of relief as he enters, and he just opens his mouth and shows them his tongue. Oh. Growl's got gotcha? you? He solemnly nods. Take it, it wasn't this drow, though, right? He, he shakes his head. And he tries to make some more gestures, you know, um, towards you and the group. <clears throat> I'll hand him the paper again. Um, in Goblinoid, uh, he writes, They save Greek. Okay. Well, welcome home. Why don't you go get some rest? He nods, and for the first time, you can see the, the exhaustion kind of take over him, and he's like, he's starting to drag his feet as he's walking into the, the area. And uh, the, the two guards there say, say thank you. And then they, uh, as you guys leave, they bid you farewell. You guys arrive back down at the uh, end of the Stairs leading down to level three. Where would you guys like to go from here? I'm going to take ten minutes and summon an owl real fast again. That's okay with the party? No problem on my side. Go for it. All right, so you guys are looking about uh, quarter afternoon right now. <clears throat> Sounds good. Um... Quarter after noon and <laughs> No. No. <laughs> no. Um, <laughs> uh, Zin will suggest that maybe we go back uh, down this way. Perhaps we could try. Since um, going this way didn't really help us too much. What do you guys think? Come back to the west? Yeah, down. Um, but down the. Oh, wait. Sorry. Up uh, to the non looking like it's. Um, Oh, okay, yeah, I would agree. Because it's all, right. all cave that yeah. way. Because it was supposed to be a cave-ish direction. I'm right? just gonna take you there then. Yes, please. Sick. As you guys oh. enter, you realize <laughs> that right. more nothing. <laughs> that um, although there are still webs in the area, uh, it they do seem a lot of them seem to be trampled and whatnot. And uh, Zin, did you take a look around? Give me a survival. Oh, not advantage, sorry. Uh, actually, I would say advantage. Yes. Uh, it um, is. <laughs> it's ah. pretty obvious that this is the area that those Quagoths came from. Okay. Um, and I you, guess, you, uh... you have now learned to check your corners. <laughs> <laughs> fair, fair. I guess we'll go this way then. Because uh, that's the only other direction on this side. Sure, I'll bring you guys back down to this level over here. Um, 
So yeah. as you guys get over to here, um, you notice uh, Zin, give me another survival. Uh, wow, it is not my day. Wow, dude. It's um, just not. <laughs> I'm going to say that you are aware uh, that uh, the tracks kind of, the, this area is also very well traveled recently. So, um, you can see some of the tracks, uh, you followed some of the tracks from that place you just left that seemed to come down here. But this area seems even more well traveled than the area you left. Hmm. You're not really sure why, because you rolled shit on your survival. Yep. Okay. I guess, uh, down, down we go for a moment. Yeah, and in this area, you also notice that the uh, the ceilings here are about 10 feet high. <clears throat> um, and they are all of worked stone. Okay. <clears throat> Um, yeah, uh, Zin will ask Bren to lead, but uh, him and Yukina will be like, right, Rukina will be beside her, and he'll be just behind Yukina, etc. Yes, this area is also filled with webs, much like the other one. Oh, great. Uh, a door. As you guys get down to here, Ren, you're in lead. Perception, please. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Ooh, nice. Ting, 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 ting. You're hearing uh, what sound like um, something metal hitting rock. On the other side Fine. of this door. Sounds like a mining operation. Should we just uh, go in or? Well, I'm mentioned. coming to buy the door. Okay. Does it sound like mining or a uh, smith? Oh, maybe that. It sounds like, you said metal on stone? Mm-hmm. Well, there is metal. Sounds, sounds like mining, I think. I don't know if I've ever been in a mine, but I, this is what I'm guessing it sounds like. I'll just look at you guys and be like, want, uh, should, you want to go? Let's go. Uh, Zin's trying to recall if the um, goblin stated if it was going to be pretty vacant. Or if they, if or if it was traveled, that path they suggested we go. <clears throat> Sorry, say that again. The remember when we saved the goblins and the bugbear. They kind of gave us directions to Skullport. All right, did did they mention or does Zin recall if they mentioned if it would be well traveled or if it would not be? Because I know it was supposed to be in like more of a cave esque area. Um, the directions they gave you were to depending where you wanted to enter um, yeah. the river. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, let's see. I know one was up this direction, but like like you said, there's just kind of more general directions, so that's why we're kind of fumbling around right now trying to figure out where it is. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> with what he told you, uh, you know he said, you know, um, keep kind of to the southeast. Um and another one directly south from the stairs as much as you can go. So, with that knowledge, uh, let's see, I'm going to say direction is kind of a survival. So, you know, roller. Oh, God. Oh, my God, finally, something decent. The way uh, he described it... Um, you kind of feel like if you were to, you know, um, stick to this path, uh, as long as it eventually ends up going southeast, you might find your way. Um, the other option would be to backtrack uh, to the stairs and then take the up. No, right, no, right? Uh, south. 
like oh, where the yeah, stairs yeah. are go south um directly from there instead so yeah this one will probably put you uh up uh, up river a little farther um the other direction would probably um take you uh through more of the um old dwarven settlement that's right before yeah, you can get to the river right and i think we wanted to go this way because we're trying to avoid those <clears throat> rows okay yeah, let's do it. If you guys are cool with it. Cool. Okay. I'm all, I go, we're going? Yep. Okay. What is the door made of? Um, This door is made of uh, heavy wood with uh, iron bands. There's a lot of webbing on it. Um, but it's obvious the door is not... Uh, uh, it, it, it's been reused recently. I'll open it. With my hand. What is that? You open the door. And Those aren't mining things. <laughs> the, the tinging stops. And these creatures... Give me a second. They look crazy! Uh, they're about medium in height. Uh, they seem to have three clawed toes and four fingers, although uh, the one closest to its pinky is uh, several inches larger than the rest. They almost look uh, lizard-like. However, as they notice you, they all start to drop their pickaxes. And they begin to run. Not at you, though. They start to run away. Oh, they did have pickaxes. What do you guys want Can to I do? Can I just say they... having one finger that's super long seems honestly incredibly inconvenient. What What do we know about Not if you do drugs. <laughs> um, yeah, what knowledge of troglodytes does the party have, if any? Um... As one starts to pass, you catch uh, a glimpse, Zin, and since uh, you are the one who asked, you, sir, can roll me what kind of creatures are they? Uh, you can give me a nature. Um, these kind of creatures are, uh, I believe, let me check real quick. I'm pretty sure that they are mostly under dark, right? Uh, yeah, uh, they are under dark creatures. Um, although they look horrific, um, they can, they're more often than not, um, uh, slaves or, uh, Kind of just workers in general. However, um, 12, I'm going to say that's all you know about them. Uh, other than the one thing that uh, does kind of hate your nostrils as you guys open the door. Um, the smell in this chamber. <sighs> just horrible. <clears throat> it stinks. Yeah. Okay. Um, then, like, I'll kind of tell the party to hold for a second. Let's not chase them. Um Let's try to be cautious. They're uh, more often slaves, so they they probably actually are scared of us. Uh, but we can continue on cautiously, slowly. They run through a. Uh, you guys hear a, a door open, and then as the shuffling feet disappear on the other side, you hear a door shut. Um, from what you can see, uh, Ren and Zin, uh, this chamber is also very full of webs <laughs> great so many spiders <clears throat> I'm just gonna go in yeah Zin will follow behind as well oh there's two doors okay can I come and stand 
between the doors and see which one it sounds like they went in. Sure. Um, give me a survival as you look for, you know, kind of tracks and stuff. Yikes. Yeah, you're not really sure. Great. Uh, Zen would suggest we go the southern direction and hope for the best. Works for me. Uh, so, oh, I should give you a description here. Um, oh, yeah. The western door um, seems to be em emblazoned with a bronze relief of a mountain with a fist-sized depression in its center. And as they seem to have, uh, the, uh, you guys actually, uh, maybe test the door, um, and it seems locked from the other side. Both doors or just the southern one? Just the west. Oh, just the west one. Okay. Okay. However, if somebody would like to, uh, check out the door, you may. The west, but we, uh, I suggest we... That maybe go south, so I'm like, I'm fine with that. Okay. To just not worry about it. Let's see, what about the south door? Ding, ding, ding. South door is just iron banded. Wood. Oakley Dogley, I'm opening it. Sure. As you open it, give me a perception. You hear? Give me a sec, let me see. You hear some language. Ren, I don't think you speak this language. I think Sin might, though. What language do you speak, Sin? Here we go. Uh, I speak common, draconic, dwarvish, elvish, goblin, sylvan, undercommon. You hear undercommon. Um, you're not really 100% sure what they're saying, um, as it is a little farther away. But you definitely hear voices speaking in undercommon. You also okay. see a door I'll... right here, although the voices seem to be coming from uh, down here somewhere. Okay, Zin will tap Ren on the shoulder and uh, kind of be like, tap his ear and then like rub his skin as so that she hopefully understands that he hears like possibly his his people. Oh, I'm sorry. There's one other you thing. You lizard men. One one <laughs> other thing. Oh, it's no bubble back. Yeah, it's just a 30-minute training, so oh. it's just time to get there, time to get back. Very well. Um, I forgot. One other thing that you notice in this room is that uh, the walls seem to have um, streams of, or sorry, veins of what look to be gold-like. Uh, and there seem to be small chunks of it around the room. Gold-like or gold? It's gold-colored. Somebody can do a, uh, a nature, if you'd like to figure it out. I would trust Val on that. Yeah. I'll do it. He's the smartest of us, so. God help us all. Apparently not. Um, Elevens are just a popular number, okay? They are. You're pretty sure it's gold. Might as well pick it up. Are you guys all picking it up? Is there? I don't need any get, shiny get, metal. Get. <laughs> Is there lots of it? <clears throat> there are roughly about uh, <clears throat> twenty chunks of it. Fine, I'll help pick up twenty chunks of it. Yeah, so everybody's picking up some is. chunks. Yeah, pick up them Not chunks. Me. Oh no, not you. 
It's just shiny metal. Oh, huh. cool. Um, what do you want me to put in? Well, you guys aren't going to get them all before something happens, so... Okay, okay. That's fine. Do you want me to put a number in beforehand, or just wait till after we're done? Uh, you guys happen? can put... Yeah, you can put a number in. Uh, you're yeah. going to put in... 20 pounds? Or, sorry, uh... 21 pound chunks. Fool's gold. Okay. <laughs> um, and it don't is... Don't be a mimic, don't be a mimic. Uh, they're worth five silver each. However, as they're all doing that, oh, that shouldn't have rolled to you guys. Fuck. Well, it doesn't matter. Uh, I mean, holy shit. <laughs> it's gonna attack us anyway. It's okay. Um, it's a great stealth roll. <laughs> uh, Ray, I think you said you're you're the only one not picking these up right now, right? I think uh, Ren. Ren and I both did not do it. All right, you both can give me a perception. My perception's been consistently my only half decent consistent roll this whole game. Whoop whoop, look matching twinsies. Twinsies. Hey Ray. What's up? Oh, for fuck's sakes. Oh, you know what? Actually, there's so many damn spiders. Even better, actually. Sorry, I missed this thing he's got. Let's see. Oh, really? It's a single target? Well, then, no. He's definitely going to do the bite, I think. It's, uh, no, he'll do the web. Ray, what's your AC? Uh, 17. You are restrained as web shoots out from above you and starts to coach you. Um, your arms are kind of wrapped tight to your body. You are unable to move. You guys start to hear Ray kind of like muffled, uh, muffled, uh, eyes. You guys turn around to see Ray. Ew, 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 it's on me, it's on me, ew, ew, ew. Which comes out as <laughs> as she cannot speak and her mouth is covered in web. And at that point, oops, that's the wrong button. There we are. Hey guys, roll me initiative. This thing um, had been hugging the ceiling. Um, this particular room, the ceiling is about 15 feet high. Uh, but as you look around, Val, you notice her. And then you look up. And you see a giant spider getting ready to pounce. What do you want to do? There's a giant spider above the one that I see in the room? No, that, that's where it is. Uh, like. Oh, okay, okay, gotcha. It's in the far corner. Shit, I don't even have anything good, man. Uh... Firebolt. What? Never mind. Yeah, um... Yeah, I'll tell the owl to go here yet, and that's, that's my turn. Yeah, you, uh... You raise your hand, but you send the spell off too soon and it hits the wall instead. All good. Ray, you are restrained. You may 
make a strength check to get out should you wish. And sorry, it's just normal, right? Uh, yes. I think. Hold on. I should probably check that. Uh, yes, straight. Boom! Oh. Like a phoenix rising from the ashes, your your arms are like, kind of like strapped to your side, and you you strain with all your might. The the I webbing, am over this spider bullshit. The, the webbing bursts away from you. Um, that is your action, bonus action or movement. Um, I'm gonna cast Shalele as my bonus action, and I am not moving. Owl. I was just gonna harass the uh, spider. All righty. Oh, one second. Uh. Okay. All right. So. Zin. Yeah. So, free action pull out a scimitar. Uh, it is too high for you to actually hit. Oh, it's it's not. Sorry. So it, how it, far it's above still on the roof? It? It, it's basically like upside down on the roof. Like it's keeping okay. its body close to the roof. So it, okay. It's so a free little action pull out a bow instead. Sure. Okay, sorry, I should have clarified. That's about asking that. Uh, and then I will fire at it. Uh, it is disadvantaged to height. Oh, okay, I'll roll again. Um... <laughs> that is a natural one, my sir. Yep, okay, so that arrow is dusted. Um, next one. Oh, it disadvantage, sorry. Sorry. I'm screwing it up. Set. Get your shit together. Oh, you know what? Uh, I forgot. He's uh, the thing is herring it, so the first one actually would hit, and then the okay. second hit. So you can roll both damages. Okay. So damage with uh, Drake reaction on the first one. Okay. And then the second one is just gonna be this one. <laughs> nice. I will retrieve my arrows since it, I assume turn order is over. Oh, yeah. Um, okay. Yeah, uh, Zen, you, you just aim up and you manage to hit uh, hit this thing twice. You put two directly into its eyes. Uh, the second one enters the brain and it just drops to the ground and curls up. Noise. Now Zen is having second thoughts about not checking his corners again. AKA the other door. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Things are everywhere. Welcome to a mega dungeon, my guy. Yeah, that's right. Um, Zim will turn to the group. Perhaps we need to check the other door first. Okay. It's funny you mention that. Uh oh. We don't have time to check the other door. Because as you guys uh, have made some noise with that door open, and yeah. a large spider body has hit the ground. Something walks into view, looks up, sees you guys, and starts shouting in under common. Zin, you're the only one who understands it. Oh, fuck. Okay. Intruders! Intruders! Hey, guys, guess what? <laughs> Whoops. Great. It's it's everything's fine, guys. It's fine, I swear. <clears throat> Ren, it is not your day for initiative. This is how it is every time. 
right, the only time I had good got. was before as you rolled it for me. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Hello, I, I, where's the stop lock on? Oh, right. Nope, that's goblin. There it is. that one and then we've got the okay so we don't actually need that one yet we do however need got those ones and what about these ones one moment. On a side note, that thing is ugly, whatever it is. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so. Zen, you hear the um, shout of alarm from south of you. Yeah. And it is your turn. What would you like to do? Oh, God. Um, uh, <clears throat> Zen's going to yell out to the group. Um, we need to get to a better better position, somewhere more in, more in the open, so we're not jammed up. And he's going to start moving through the doorway if uh, Yukina and Ren will let me, I assume. I mean, I don't see... I mean, Yukina's under your control. I'm sure she'd let you go. Yeah. And, and yeah. Ren's a friend, you know, or I don't know. Maybe she's a little too angry. She's like, fucking get back. I don't know. <laughs> you can go past me. Okay. 15, 25, 30. So I'm going to move to here. Um, and then, um, uh, bonus you, action. you can get to here, I believe. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Here. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. Uh, and then I'll come, uh, bonus action command. You can, uh, to, uh, <clears throat> to basically kill everything that gets in the way. Um, and I'm just going to take, uh, a shot at this guy. Sure. Um, Yeah, roll it. I'm pretty sure you kill him right off the hop. Okay. Well, we'll see. <laughs> Holy fuck yeah, you do. Yeah, that's more than double his HP. Yeah, you Sweet. intrude, and he just takes an arrow directly in the mouth, uh, out the back, pierces the brain stem, and like it slams him into this fucking wall, and like his body's hanging there, the arrow buried into the wall. Beautiful. Um, yeah, I don't see any other targets, so you can, I was just going to come up and you can, has 40 foot, foot, feet of movement. So she's going to kind of move out in the central area here. <clears throat> and that is me. Okay. What do they have? Uh, oh, wow. Really? Okay. Valorant. We. 
I'll advance. Sorry, I'm lagging really bad. I'll cast Firebolt at the one right here. Okay, send it. <laughs> That's a hit. It charges at you. Um... <laughs> and uh, it, it's speaking. I, I don't think you speak under common, yeah? I don't, I don't think so, no, no. In fact, I'm positive I don't. It sounds like it's spewing gibberish as you slam it directly in the face with a fireball or firebolt. And as it hits it, its face, uh, its legs don't stop moving and kind of does a backwards flip, landing uh, face down. Doesn't quite do the full flip to land on his feet. Um, and you can definitely see it's dead. Cool. Well, that's all my movement, and uh, I will have the or order the owl to come down and harass whoever is closest to it on the enemy side when it gets to his turn. Sure. Hey, Ren. Yep. Your turn. <laughs> yep, I'm running in. Okay. Because I literally can't see what's happening from where I am. 25, 30, 35, 40. And I guess I'll throw javelins. Sure. Chuck them. Uh, to get out my javelins, is that my bonus action? No. Um, it, It's the same as Zin pulling out an arrow. Um, it, It's okay, part okay. of the action. Then I think I'm going to rage. And then throw javelins. Raging. Uh, does a 25 hit? Yup. Oh my goodness, that was terrible damage. If this is an 11... It's a 21! Hey! <laughs> Yeah, your your first one pierces its uh, its shoulder as it's charging. It kind of stumbles a little bit. You throw another one. Um, yeah, you don't even have to roll damage because it's definitely a hit uh, kill. Sick. You the the next one well, manages. Rolled a little bit better. I would have just killed him with one. Yeah, probably. <laughs> um, <laughs> the the next one um, pierces him directly in the chest, uh, slamming him directly into the ground killing him that's that's my turn Owl. knocking out a tooth or two maybe <laughs> hey savage yep uh it looks like ray isn't on the turn order unless i'm mistaken no uh she's not i rolled the 19.15 but yeah i thought i saw her on the turn order initially too uh Weird. No, she didn't roll initiative. Yeah, yeah I see it. 19.15. Right yeah, right under mind. Oh, that's weird, because it is not on mine. There's Ren, there's Zinn, then there's Valor. Oh, wait, no, no. Owl. Uh, babe, that's previous. That's previous. That's way up. I swear oh, that I rolled it. Yeah, it's not even in the in in the rolls. So just click your token and roll, and then we'll put you in. I was wondering why it was taking a long time to get to me. <laughs> uh, so we're gonna do your turn now, since you technically missed it. And then 
I'm going to, um, since I already have Shillelagh, I will just hold an action in case something gets close, and then I will smack him. And that's okay. all for me. Uh, the owl? Where did he go? Oh, He's there he is. Spider. Trying to move him. Sorry, I'm sliding like crazy. Might have to just... overclock your shit. Right? <laughs> He's just burying this guy right here. That's that's his <laughs> huge contribution. Okay. He's going Valor to parry him. Chrome or something different. Maybe he's got the same issue I do, and his fucking RAM is not where it should be. Probably. Every everybody who installs new RAM needs to check that just in case. Yeah. Really? I have to. I, yeah. Yeah, I, mean, I just found like take I, a look at that too. Actually, I've had mine installed for like over two years, and fucking, I've been having issues with uh, Tarkov. So he had me check my RAM, and sure enough, it was not where it should have been. Like physically, where it should have been? No, no. Like, um, it's speed. It oh. wasn't working to what it should be. It, it, it was minimized by the motherboard. I had to change settings. Oh. Yeah. All right. Uh, this Grimlock. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. He is going to attack your owl. That's not very nice. Nice. What is your owl's AC? 11. Motherfucker. Zin, hey, buddy, it's your turn. <laughs> that was enough. Okay, Zin's going to move over here. Um, and then I guess I'll shoot the one being harried because, you know. Yeah, advantage. Yep. Uh, and fire. And then uh, I guess I will use the Drake reaction. Bro, do you know the meaning of the word overkill? <laughs> overkill. Um, okay. Hey, most of the time he's hardly doing anything, so give him a break. <laughs> Thanks. Bro, your your arrow um, punches this thing in the face, and like the, the front of its face kind of just uh, starts to freeze over, and as it collapses, uh, its face shatters across the floor. Okay. This one now. Uh-huh. Oh, no advantage on this one. Sorry. Yeah, it doesn't fucking matter. Send it. See that damage. <laughs> Holy fuck. This one hits it square in the heart. Um, and it takes another step or two before it just falls forward. Perfect. Um, yeah, and then uh, Yukino's turn. Uh and at this sure. point, you guys start to hear some cheering coming out from around the corner. Yeah! Get him! <laughs> Fuck you! Fuck you, Grimlocks! Oh, okay. Somebody seems to be happy about this. Yeah, uh, in fact, you hear several voices cheering. Like cheering for us? Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. Um, Yukina's is going to try to bite this one. Yeah, send it. Yep. Uh, yeah, this one uh, seems to be charging. You can uh, kind of like charges back at it and she kind of steps to the side as she she takes a bite out of its uh, knee. Uh, it screams in pain as uh, much of the flesh around the kneecap is just ripped away. Uh, it is still standing. But not by fucking much. That's it. Okay. See, that one's dead, and that one's dead. Hey, Ray, what do you want to do? Um. Five, ten. I'm just going to move over here. And, uh, same thing. I'll just have a... Um... My action radio summon gets close up. Bonk him. Sure. And that one's dead. Hey, Valorant, what do you want to do? I will move down here and cast Pull the Dead on the remaining whatever it is. Sure. Whoop. 
Right. Wow. Um, yeah, once again, um, from the ears, eyes, nose, and mouth, uh, as it's, it, it drops its club and it, it starts to hold its head. <laughs> and the, it just fucking, the eyes pop, blood pours um, from all of his facial orifices. And he drops dead. Ew. Cool. I'll call my owl back and that marks the end of my turn. Well, I mean, that's good because it's the end of turn order. And what do you mean, ooh? You saw a dude rip somebody's throat out with his teeth. Come on now. <laughs> yeah, but like, these guys look like melting humans. Like their skin is melting off their body. Um, You guys uh, hear the, the cheers go up. Come on, let us out, let us out, please. What type of uh, dialect is it? Uh, let's see, which one is this? Uh, this is 5C. So, let's see, we have, uh, this one's in common. Okay, that's reassuring. Um, Zin is definitely sketched out, so he's gonna ask Yukina to kind of like stand guard in this area. Um, and he'll come over to, he'll work his way over to the cells. Uh, I guess Ren's doing yeah. that, and Valor doing that as well. Um, yeah. And he'll he'll take a. Is there? Are they like? What type of cells are they? Um, they uh, you, you technically should be able to see into them um, because they oh, are. Okay. Uh, I, I can't right now. So yeah, uh, give me a sec. It's fine. Yeah, I just wanted to make sure. Oh, they look like people. So they are um, iron bars. Um, yeah. You can definitely tell as you look at these bars that the uh, Grimlocks uh, probably have been using their spike clubs to poke at the at the people through the bars. Um, oh, God. You have a... Here is a... Fuck. Sorry. Here is a... Uh, male half elf, and in the one here, you have a hobgoblin. the The elf says, "One of them should probably uh, might have a key. If not, uh, it, it might be um, with the the ones in the uh, the room just north of here." I'll search the grimlocks for keys. Uh, Zen will be immediately. There were ones in the room to the north. Uh, yes. Uh. I believe they're holding somebody else in that one, uh, uh, that that door to the the east. Uh, uh, after you turn left, uh, go, going to the north there. I believe the the one in the east is, uh, yeah, it's a solid door. There's there's no, it's not iron gates like ours, but it, it's a prisoner. Um, and if you, you go further north and uh, in, in that room with the the fool's gold, in in the walls, uh, the to the to the west there's. Uh, a, a very large chamber with, uh, uh, I believe there's, um, they're, uh, they're of house, shit, uh, Tris Avrandar, it's a, it, it's a drow house, um, <clears throat> if, uh, that, that's, that's where the, the most of their force is, um, then we'll nod. Um, and you hear and... from further south, or sorry, further west. Shut your mouth, elf. You need to be quiet, or I'll cut the tongue from your fucking head. From over here. The hobgoblin, however. Um, he, uh, he sits there, quietly. Doesn't say anything. Doesn't ask to be released. Doesn't give any information. Doesn't even look at you guys as you're sitting in front of his cell. But the elf once again says, please, hurry. Uh, as you guys start to check these Grimlocks, you realize that... Uh, let's just make sure here. They don't have the key? Yeah, no, they do not have the key. Okay. I'll, uh, I'll I'll tell the elf. Uh, they don't have the keys. There's there's no keys here. Um, they might maybe it's with that main force you were discussing about earlier. Maybe. Uh, do do you maybe have some? Do Do you know how to pick a lock by chance? Zin nods. I I do. 
Um, wow. It's it, well, it's going to take some time, and uh, I'm debating if it's if it's better to handle the forces before saving you and risking your life further by being outside of the cell. As I don't believe you look to be very armed, and there's not much to arm you with around. Um, from further west, uh, Valoran, what you can see is this one in front of you. Actually, let me change music here. Valoran, this one in front of you is a drow elf. He looks an awful lot like the he's wearing the, the same kind of attire that the other drow elves you've noticed uh, earlier are wearing. Yes, by all means. Please, I dare you to try it. Go, go see my boss, or my soon-to-be boss. I'm sure she'd love to introduce herself. Zen doesn't pay him any mind. Instead, he's looking at the the elf. I'll try that and see if it works. Some saving throw, huh? All right, give me a second. You're going to try to charm a drow elf? Yeah, my character wouldn't know that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Besides, it's fun to waste spells. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Please, you tried to charm one such as me? Good luck, demon. <laughs> So as a party, how attached are we to good walls? Pretty attached, but I wouldn't be opposed to leaving him rot in there after we destroy everything else here. You, Val, you notice that uh, as you take a look at these these three cells here, the the further furthest left three, this one here is empty. But the further three, they all are armed and uh, have all their equipment. Although they do look uh, a little hurt. What uh, races, species, whatever the euphemism is, designator. Sorry, say that again. What, uh, what, can you tell me about the people in the cells? Are they also drow? Yes, uh, the, these three here, um, so the, the further west, the, the furthest west ones, the one in front of you and the next two, they are all drow. They are all armed, have their armor, though they do look hurt and a little tired. Um, they seem to have the same wounds, though, as the... Uh, in fact, they actually have more wounds than the other two. Hmm. So, Zen, you're a drow. No offense. Um, what can you tell us about their house? I mean, are they... Are these good people that we should help? Are they bad people that we should hurt? Zinn will look over and, and state, well, traditionally, drow, drow houses fight. The losing house is taken as prisoners. Those prisoners don't necessarily mean they're good. Don't necessarily mean they're bad either. So, you know, as you can see myself. But it kind of doesn't prove either or, whether they're chained up or uh, out there. Got it, so we can infer nothing. I got you. Okay. Correct. Um, Zin will look over to the, the half-elf and say, here's the deal. I'm going to unlock your cell, but I would recommend you remain inside of it until we handle this. For your safety. Hmm. Uh, yes. Uh, I'm Geldax Breer, by the way. Nice to meet you. Hopefully, we can get out of this alive. And Enzin will move to start lockpicking the door. Okay. Well, while he's doing that, I want to inspect the gear these people are carrying and see if I see anything that looks like it's magic. Okay, so Zin, you can give me uh, lockpicking. And are you just releasing the elf, or are you releasing the other two? Uh, for now... And Valorin, you can also give me uh, three Arcanas. Well, I'll start with the I'll start with the uh, the elf here. Um, 
Yeah, you, uh, you, you, uh, it takes you a few seconds, but you manage to hear a click. And you know you got the door unlocked. Valoran, none of these three seem to be, uh, holding anything magical. Okay. Uh, Zen will move over in front of the Hobgoblin. Um, and he will attempt to speak to it and ask, and for yourself, do you wish to be free as well? He is going to do something. Second. Hmm. You are not like the other ones. Something strange about you. I was not born where they were born. You're a half-breed, aren't you? Zen nods. And yes, free me. And I will help you fight them before I return to my lord. Uh, as Zin is doing the lockpicking, he's going to ask, uh, and uh, who is your lord? Warlord Azrock. I don't know who that is. They plan to interrogate me to gain information, but I am unbreakable, and I will help you slaughter them in the name of Azrock. What do I know about Azrock? Uh, I'm gonna say fucking Nothing. history at disadvantage. Oh, I rolled insight first by accident. All right, so insight. Uh, it I'd be fourteen and twenty-two instead. Okay, fourteen. Um, yeah. Well, you know that he called him Warlord Azrock. That's about okay. the extent of it. Okay, uh, and then I'm gonna move down the line to get a look at each of them. This is the guy that was shit talking me, I assume. They've all had a hand in it, but yes. Uh, okay, those ones can stay in there for now. Okay. Um, Come on, brethren. Do you not want to see us free? We'll help you too, of course. I think you mistake us for people who care. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Nah, you're right. Hey, Valorant. Yes, sir. I don't disagree. I just don't think Ren would have said it. Give me a perception. Goddamn 11 again. Yeah. You don't see him pull it out. Sure, you see. Because I don't like him anyway, but... You can call it metagaming because I was going. Well, I was, yeah, fuck it. I was borderline. I don't know. You call it. Um. Yeah. He 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 was uh, stealthily pulling something out. Um, All right. Cool. Do you have what is your AC? Oh, AC. I'm sorry. I didn't understand you. Uh, AC is 17. A small bolt hits you. No, no reaction. Okay, eight piercing damage and a con save, please. Oh, you were waiting for me to. Okay. <laughs> okay, whatever. Honestly, even with uh, a VU shield, it actually still would have hit anyways. Oh Yikes. my! Hey, so you take eight piercing as something suddenly hits you, and. Yeah. You guys watch as suddenly Val takes a hit and then he suddenly slumps down to the ground. This is what I get for not being mean to people. And the drow, you guys hear the drow start to laugh. <laughs> oh no, it looks like he's fallen and he can't get up. <laughs> Zin 
Ren's going to ignore this piece of garbage and be like, Ren, let's grab him and drag him over here and get get him to Ray. Mm-hmm. So Ray, Ray can assess him, basically. So we'll grab okay. him quickly and pull him to Ray. Sure. <laughs> you guys start to... Uh, we were moving in unison. Yank, uh, yank him over. Um, Zen? Yeah. Mm, medicine or history at advantage? <laughs> you take a look. Um, as, as you're dragging him over, you can see the bolt. A uh, small crossbow bolt. Just a tiny one. Sticking out of his ribs. Definitely a hand crossbow bolt. Oh, and you are well aware that the poison that now he is poisoned for one hour. And this is given the fact that uh, as you, you you and Ren kind of like pull him off to the side, uh, he kind of like flutters his eyes open as he's getting kind of jarred around. Um, you're pretty sure it was drought poison. Damn. So we'll drag him to, to Ray. Be like, Ray, are, are, are you able to help him? I, b- I believe he's poisoned. Like, it's drought poison. Ray's looking at the uh, spiders on the ceiling. Sorry, I'm just looking through my spell list. I figure. Okay, I can do... I can cast Lesser Restoration on him. Yeah, it's prep for today? Uh, yeah. All right, sure. Um, You kind of walk over and you place your hands on him. And uh, as you do, um, and, uh, you know, you you pull the crossbow bolt out and you place your hand over it. And you can almost see the the poison um, being pushed out of the wound. And it, it kind of slides to the ground in this uh, little, like, black ooze. And you no longer have the poison condition. Oh, that's huge. Does he also need healing? Uh, he, he, he's got a hole in him. Yo, Val. <laughs> I'm gonna healing staff you again. Okay. The uh, the hobgoblin walks out as you guys are worrying about that, and he walks over to the, the, over to this corner. Oh, there you go. And uh, there's a small chest over here in this corner, and he pops open the lid. Well, actually, he tries, but it's locked. So he just starts slamming the lock as hard as he can uh, with his foot, and eventually the chest starts to crack. And he lifts it open. Uh, he grabs out a. What's he got? He has a, he pulls out a long sword, uh, a chain mail and, and some chain mail and a shield. And he starts to, to put it on while you guys are worrying about Val. Um, the drows in the, in the cage are still laughing quite heartily. When Val's back up, he's going to split the pie. As soon as he can see the center of that drow's cage, he's going to cast great bonfire. <laughs> Holy oh shit! My. That's and then he's savage. gonna step back out of line of sight. Holy shit! Um, yeah, can you post that spell for me real quick? Sure. Range, uh, five foot cube. Yep. Match bonfire for any creature in the bonfire space when you cast a spell must see deck saving throw. Um. Yeah, I mean, he'll do a deck saving throw, but not exactly a whole lot of room for him to move, so it's going to be disadvantage. And it's up to one minute? 
<laughs> Holy fuck. Um, <laughs> it's, it's gonna just roll dexes all the time. <laughs> so, let's see. Um, give me your first 2d8. <laughs> uh, uh, oh god uh, uh. he just starts screaming and um before long uh the smell of burnt hair and leather and flesh starts to flood the area and the the screaming quickly uh stops and you hear his body slump to the ground i'll stop the spell <laughs> the other drow start laughing Hmm. And they 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 just kind of chuckle. <laughs> oh, by yeah. all means, this, this is gonna be fun. Lefter's not enough to kill him over. I'm good for even. Uh, okay. After Lur Lurash, he says, "Uh, by the way, my name is Lurash." And I am ready when you are. As he 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 put, picks up his shield and he slams his, the the side of his long sword against it several times, <laughs> as he starts getting angry, you know, kind of a not a barbarian, so he doesn't rage rage, but homie's raging. You getting prepped? <clears throat> uh, Zen will look over to uh, Ren. Are you ready? Ren is also now staring it, at spiders. <laughs> yeah. Also, it's it's uh two forty two now. So yeah, yeah. I, I I figured once you guys start heading towards our room, that's where we're gonna call it. Yeah, I, I figured as much as well. We'll get prepped for the battle and then. Exactly. Ren Ren is still quiet as a church mouse. Sorry, I'm struggle bussing. You say struggle bussing or short bussing? I said struggle bussing. Oh, struggle okay. bussing. <laughs> But could also be <laughs> short. <-busting. laughs> I was I was panicking about my push my push to talk was giving me an issue, and now I don't know what's going on. I was panicking. Hmm. You're fine. You're Zin fine. asked if you were ready. Yep, I'm ready. Okay. Well, I wasn't, but now I am. <laughs> and as you guys start to round this corner, you guys can move to this corner here. Lurash kind of goes, uh, is either going to go side by side with Ren or he's going to lead the way. But as you guys start to head towards the next oncoming battle, we are going to call it for the day. Give me a moment to 